is illegal per our HOA and per uh -huh. keep in mind on my window on next yes. to my front door I have a no soliciting sign. Okay. You know. She's gonna say, but it's not in Spanish, just yeah. trust. But again, they don't speak our language. Ah! So told you, you know. told you. And I'm not you. gonna put it in Spanish. <laughs> oh, it? It's yeah. America. Yeah. Yes! Oh, yes. I know my hogs and hogalinas. I speak the language, okay? Dude. I speak fluent hog. <laughs> okay, let's do Hogwatch CPAC edition. Hell yeah. With Austin Show. Hogwatch with Austin Show. He will pay attention, I promise, guys. He's going to get off the phone in a second. I hope you guys know, by the way, that everyone always says, like, I'm on my phone when I'm streaming or whatever. No, this. This is how normal people operate on stream, okay? No, 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 no. I'm not, hold on. By the way, my food's gonna be here in just a second, so. Yeah, and for the record, anytime I'm on my phone personally on stream is because I'm like, either there's an emergency or I'm like pulling something up that I'm going to bring to the table on stream in a second. Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm gonna have to ask you guys to leave. Wait, it's it's here. And I, I'm gonna go get it. Go get it. You, you... I'm in DC this week for CPAC. You saw my video from last year. You saw me getting thrown out. To my surprise, this year, when I applied for a press pass, they approved me. So uh, we're going to see how this goes. I expect to get thrown out like I did last year, but... Austin mom chose gay son. <laughs> yeah, Austin mom watching TikToks. Gay son or thought daughter was like, gay son. Uh, they did approve my press pass. It's only my second one. Ah, it's addictive. It is addictive. You know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. It's time traveling. It's the way it, America it does feel like used to be and should continue to be. That it is, know? CPAC is like, I, it is like time travel. Yeah! Lady Maga. So, you know, this is, uh, this is good. Let me make sure my mic is on here. A lot of people are saying we don't like LGBTQ. But you're here. Yeah. Find me a quote from a conservative saying, we hate LGBTQ. I haven't heard that myself. <laughs> no, I've heard nothing. It's That's crazy. Wait, what? Is she memeing? What's happening there? What? It's like a very prominent part of their platform. Like, is she all right? Austin is missing this. That, yeah. Guys, don't make fun of her. It's ableist. She's deaf. <laughs> She doesn't hear anything, okay? Let me tell you. Conservatives LGBTQ. This is this is wild. Are they both there undercover? Like what's going on? Yeah, I don't think she's undercover, dog. I'm still waiting for Austin to come back so he can hear this, but he's just he's left the room. But you're yeah. here. Find me a quote from a conservative saying we hate LGBTQ. I haven't heard that myself. <laughs> no, I've heard nothing. It's thank you. This is my fourth year at CPAC. So people sort of say it's not CPAC without Lady Maga. So I just every 30 seconds I have people who follow me, who know me, uh, who come up to me and share the love. Yeah. Um, and they 90% of the Republican commentary in the last midterms was about how trans people are freaks that need to be put down and that drag queens specifically are also like diddling children what is this person saying right now this is nutty actually insane to me okay austin is back so i will run this one more time you have to hear this as a gay man who is chomping on some homophobic chicken no place good girl listen to this we're here find me a quote from a conservative saying we hate lgbtq i haven't heard that myself <laughs> no, i've heard nothing it's thank you this is my fourth year at cpac so people sort of say it's not cpac without lady maga so i just Bro, every like 30 seconds the platform I have is to hate lgbtq me. people cpac speaker calls for eradication of transgenderism and somehow claims he's not calling for the elimination of transgender people that was last year what an ugly son of a Michael, uh, yeah, he's uh, also done some some light gay work, too. Some gay work? He looks like it. Why are you being homophobic? I don't he's know just... what it is about this thing, but, like, sometimes when I see somebody conservative or homophobic, like, doing homophobic shit, I become homophobic back to them. <laughs> that it's was like, crazy. I, I don't... You just said that, like, it just rolled off, too. Like, you just... Not a moment of, like, self-reflection in that one. <laughs> this F word, like... <laughs> Yo, my man touched... <laughs> he said, once I touch this homophobic chicken, it's over. <laughs> he literally... 
he just he didn't even he didn't even stutter <laughs> he looks like a homo <laughs> that's what you said well he does you know what i mean he does a little bit chick-fil-a was the number one spender on la city lobbying this year city of la agencies damn dude whether they lobbying to make sure that chicken is even more homophobic because let me tell you they deserve it okay they still deserve it funded by austin yeah austin is directly <laughs> yeah. lobbying la city at this point it can be a lot of fun oh my god so, say, say that again yeah drag itself is not explicit is it's not explicitly vulgar or sexual for me it's just theatrical I get to embody a totally different persona, work on the costume, bedazzle things, you know. My face is a, a palette that yeah. I get to paint this on. So it's, it's art for me. So and I want to reclaim. It's just funny because, like, obviously drag queens aren't mentally ill, except this drag queen is because she got that conservative dog in her. You know what I mean? Like, you have to be literally mentally insane to think that you can you can say the correct things about drag which you know he's right on or she's right on right in persona mm -hmm. um <laughs> but also simultaneously act like conservatives recognize those things like you're crazy i that in the world because drag queen story hour drag queens twerking in front of children Hold it's on. deplorable it's absolutely unacceptable. Hold on. who do they why do they feel compelled to even have to defend that narrative if not for the republican party you know what i'm saying like do you see the irony here like she's she's literally sitting in a convention of people that that that, that, that like that make that, that claim yes yeah. exactly yeah but but while also some things are claiming that they don't do that conservatives yes, exactly, don't do which that. is so but the whole re but it, it's so ass backwards it's like the whole reason that she has to make that claim is because her own party is the one that made that claim i don't think i don't know if this person is trans by the way i think they're a lot of drag queens i mean drag queens can be trans but a lot of drag queens are just uh cis gay men is it is it appropriate i always lead with they um well, i i just if, go if, with whatever uh, like i go with she doubt, when I talking go, about drag uh if they're a drag queen if they're drag king i say he if i any if i have any doubt i go they like when i see a dog or an animal of some sort you're so woke i mean well the different no i'm serious can't believe you just compared no Did you guys see that comparing trans people to animals no wow. come on hassan that's not what i mean. wow no and first of all it's not only trans people that use they them pronouns okay wow okay wait who you like a group of people use they them pronouns as well no, what about non-binary people Non-binary people are trans. Oh. Yeah. I knew that. I was just quizzing you. Oh, okay. Good job. Yeah. Okay. You get to keep your job. You just did NB erasure? It's not a big no, deal. Are you okay. kidding me? You, know, you shouldn't no, have just, LGBTQ uh, people, mm -hmm. you know, near, you know, you can't be open and in, within your identity in front of children. I mean, you're here. That's fine, but there's no kids around. You know, well, if you I've did this, to, if I've you did this, if you wanted to read a story to children, um, you know, I would... I would have a, you know, there'd be more of a problem with well, that. The thing if you is, wanted to, you know, teach at a school or something. and No, you if know, I were in the public school system, the children would never learn about my sexuality or my personal yeah, life. Yeah, you keep that, like, and, si you uh, keep that, like, separate. I do, of course. Yeah, you wouldn't dress like this in, at, in, school. at a school. No. Oh, my God, no. That's our the only thing. thing. I've, been to, I've been to a lot of rallies where there's people of all ages there. I always am dressed like this, very tastefully. And so if people ever have questions, I just say, I'm, I'm working. Yeah, she's saying, she's saying all the other, she's being just catty. She's like, all the other bitches are tasteless. That's what the problem is. <laughs> yeah, real tasteful. Wearing a costume. I could be Spider-Man or a unicorn tomorrow. We're not anti-LGBTQ. The media makes up this whole narrative. We just don't want you, you know, being in this identity, like, in public in where there could library. be where there could be kids around well i've been in public a lot of times at rallies and things in utah with like and there's um, kids there and stuff with with people of all ages Dress like i don't that approach and... them i don't try to indoctrinate their children and if people do want to take a picture with me i always say okay mom and dad in the middle okay i always keep a very professional distance but okay. um i would never go into a library that's crazy that like she just doesn't under she doesn't get it and it's so f awesome this is peak conservatism okay not getting it while you are the it <laughs> is like the most conservative shit i've ever done seen okay like just genuinely 
I do not understand how you can live your life, okay? I do not understand how you can live your life being the thing and, and have all of this lived experience and not understand and then, all of the people <laughs> around you straight up being like, no, 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 you're wrong. Like, no, you are... Th they literally think they're talking about other drag queens. Yeah, why not around children? You said it's just theatrical and not vulgar, right? You self-hating queen. Exactly. Or a public school. Thank you for that. No, thank you. No, absolutely. We just don't want, yeah, like, absolutely. stay out of the library, stay out of the school. Who's doing drag stay, in a fucking stay public stay school? Out of children's yeah, honorary mention, every black Republican is also, I mean, that's a, another great example of people being like, black Republican speakers of CPAC being like, guys, I'm here to tell you, like... <laughs> No one around me is racist. And people in the crowd are like, no, we're racist. Like, nope, see, not a single one. No, we are racist, actually. <laughs> we only like you because you're one of the good ones. The rest are bad. We're saying that. See, can't hear a single. I do not hear a single racist word uttered in this room, in these hallowed halls. And you understand? Way, no offense. Who the f wants to take their kids to a drag show anyway? Yeah, I, like, I think. This isn't, like, who the <laughs> wants let to Let me tell you, let me tell you. Portland. <laughs> I mean, maybe Portland. <laughs> That's it. Maybe That's Portland, one, Oregon. Yeah, Portland, dead. Oregon, liberal parents with, with uh, children named Sock. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's who wants to take the... That's a very Portland thing to do, for sure. Yeah. Kids named Sock. <laughs> but it's like... But it, even then, it's not like... Um, it, it's not like a weird sexual deviant thing at all. It's like... I, I read it in the same exact way that I read, like, Mrs. Doubtfire or in every Disney movie. You know what I mean? Every Disney movie, the Disney villain. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very, very stupid that uh, for people to, like, reframe this as, like, something that is, you know, something that is, like, indecent. It's not. It, it, I don't give a shit. Programming. <laughs> what's, what's most important to you as a voter? I think the border has to be number one. It is the number one. So. I fucking lose trust. Yeah, she's at the CPAC too, uh, mate. Yeah, she really. So, we, um, we're actually looking for people that have a personal story about uh, the migrant crisis. Like, how has it personally uh -huh. affected you? Has anything happened in your life? No, I, I, I couldn't say. Um, yeah, I could say that I used to be in a trade that was it's completely taken over by hispanics now not that that's necessarily a bad thing damn why is that not a bad thing seems like you have a issue with it what's so, up uh, flooring okay mm -hmm. so like those subcontractor work exactly is, mm -hmm. and, all right and if you it, want to be a foreman in a big flooring shop you need bro say hispanic with so much energy he might as well have shortened it to the word you know what uh, i mean like <laughs> hispanics have taken over my industry my trade. Listen, La Raza, they call it. Maybe, They're doing salsa hips at lunch break. Everyone's eating tacos. <laughs> Back in the day, we used to eat spam. <laughs> My trade. Been taking over La Raza. Speak Spanish. Yeah. In, in this area. Foreman yeah, in a big America, flooring right? shop, you need to speak Spanish. Yeah. In in this area, what's wrong with speaking Spanish? Uh, no, it's just so funny that he's like mad about this, but it's like. Yeah, dog, it's because you're, you know, <laughs> it's because you want to hire, it's because you want to hire Mexican people for the most part. That's it. Like, that's just most likely because you want to hire undocumented people for a lower price point. That's it. Easier to, easier to exploit. Remember that guy answered no, unfortunately, last time on the border? Yeah, it's awesome. And it's, uh, yeah. yeah. And it's driven the rate wages down. So that's probably as close as I have as a, to a yeah. personal experience. Yeah. Immigration is destroying this country. Yeah. We're looking for... Uh, people oh, that have personal you, stories you on brick. immigration like how has fuck, the migrant positive. crisis personally it's like bro this dude is literally this dude is literally like 20 22 years old okay when you see a, a young republican like this at one of these conferences know that immediately that's a nazi mm -hmm. okay a almost the entirety of the party that's why Ron DeSantis was like popping uh with like younger demographics in the republican primaries it was like very strange mm -hmm. very strange phenomenon they're like why the fuck are people voting for ron DeSantis? It's because like all the nazis were mm -hmm. claiming that he was going to do like nazi shit mm -hmm. um this they guy's are totally on grinder too. every every one of these like every one of these like under the age of 65 for under the age of 40 let's say uh young republicans is all mother groped up shouties okay
They affected you. Well, in my community, the people that work at these restaurants and establishments, they do not speak the language and they do not assimilate. They are here for a job. They are not here to be Americans. How? Hold on, but th there's no national language. Also, no, not only that, but also like, dog, he, he asked, how does that actually affect your life? And you did not describe how this has affected your life at all. The language? What do you mean? There's no language. There's no what f language, you f dipshit. No, and it's also dumb as hell. It, it, this is like a completely <laughs> made up thing, okay? They're coming to our country and making a... It's like, dude, um, your dad Your dad is like a real estate mega developer, okay? You're, you've are you never seen the, the back of a <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> Shut the f up, okay? He's making it seem like he's going to Applebee's and the and the waiter... Uh, the, the waiter is like, oh, well, I don't speak any... English whatsoever. The only place where what he's saying would be correct is Miami. Is Miami. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yep. And it's like, yeah, that's Miami, dog. That's what it is. And even then, why didn't you get your ass and take Spanish classes, you stupid Oh, don't tell him that. <laughs> Telling an American to learn a second language, you might as well shoot them. I you might as well you might as well take them out back and put one in the to, back of their dome. Maybe maybe it's a good lesson. You should try to learn how to speak. I, I had a 45 minute conversation in Spanish with a Cuban Uber driver in Miami the last weekend. Oh god. I mean I was wasted, but I mean he we we had a great conversation. Really? Yeah, we, we he was I I mean we were it, it was broken. It was 45 minutes, but we were we were just we were chatting away. He he told me he, he married um actually I don't, honestly I don't know too uh, I couldn't understand a lot of what he was saying, but um I was trying and we had uh, he he had moved here from Cuba. Um, with his wife that he had been married to for five years. They were separated for a brief period of time when he, then he moved here. No, no, I'm sorry. He met, this is where the translation was a little sloppy. We, he met her in the United States. They've been married for 30 years. He told me he liked boobs. Uh, that was, that was a good part of the comment. Tetas? Yeah, yeah. He said teta. He went like this. <laughs> he went like this. Tetas. So pretty clear. Um, anyway, but yeah, learn another language. Anyway, let's continue. Have you been personally affected by the migrant crisis? A couple times a week, we have um, trucks coming through our neighborhood, and and they ring the doorbell, you know, soliciting. Our neighborhood is not supposed to have solicitors, but they they ring the what? doorbell, and then you know you see the big pickup truck with like eight people, eight men in it. I'm so confused. What is what is she saying? <laughs> what is she? Talking Are they, about. They're ding dong ditching in my neighborhood. It's a Mexican ding dong ditch, though. <laughs> it's very different than when white kids do it. What the f is she talking about? Um, what are they soliciting know. for? I don't know. They sometimes they have a lawnmower. <laughs> sometimes they don't. Bro, she's like, I hate, I hate up and comers and small business owners when they're Mexican. <laughs> she thinks she's being gang stalked. Yeah, no, people probably literally landscapers looking for work. They're like, hey, your f your bushes look busted, lady. You want me to f whip this shit up? <laughs> God damn, I hope I wish f I'm pissed off my landscapers. I wish I had f other landscapers what? ding dong ditching. <laughs> Hire them in a heartbeat. You don't even have grass, Hassan. How could your landscape? What are they going to mow your the, turf? I have the no, I have the <laughs> the hedges. Is that it? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so they just they want to work okay yeah oh yeah okay. and it's and it's and this it's, makes you how does this make you feel well like i'm being invaded which we are when like you're being <laughs> well, well. Dude, greatest invasion of all time dudes who are who are trying to outcompete everyone else um. at, at at doing hard work hard labor that your ass is not going to do yourself anyway damn yeah. dude what an invasion Please invade me harder, okay? Oh, the horror. Oh, the horror. That's crazy. Americans are so privileged that they think like an invasion equals not boots on the ground military warfare in the way that we did to Afghanistan. But when mother come to your house and they're like, hey, would you like most likely cheaper work? <laughs> That's insane to me, okay? It's it's my favorite thing is is like there's the same narrative exists for white genocide, right? Like obviously there are very real genocides that have occurred throughout history and that usually involves the systematic ethnic cleansing of a population and not when people are consensually having sex with people of different races. That is not a genocide. That's just people having consensual sex with different races. That 
is called miscegenation, and it's been perfectly legal in the United States of America. No, no matter how hard you want to f stop it. They come up to your house it's my and personal space. You and they are, have, uh, yeah. They have. Do they have a lawn mower, or they have like a lawn mower? Right. Uh, no, like, like, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't have like to be the gardening. Big Walter does this really well. He does like, uh, mm -hmm. he he'll go to like conservative hog stuff mm -hmm. and hog conventions, and then like just you know just ask them some questions. Yeah, but he won't and present himself as like also a hog a little bit. Yep. And but, they reveal so much beautiful information. Yeah. Equipment, right? Sometimes, and stuff. sometimes, and sometimes then they're, they're asking, roofers or whatever, and they want to work. Yeah, and they're well, like, no, but they mm -hmm. are they like kind of pushy about it. I wouldn't say pushy. <laughs> they're quite polite. I just yeah. hate that they're Mexican. <laughs> like, dude, I love, I love the the honesty there too. At the end of it, she's basically like, well, mm -hmm. you know, the only thing I really hate about it is that. They're brown and Mexican, huh. I think. And that's what is really f***ed up. Lady, that's not an invasion. There's no polite invasion happening. You know what I mean? Fallujah was not polite. Because I'm not really the type of person that would tolerate that. Um, well, we know why you wouldn't tolerate that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What I tell them is, you know, you're lucky that you came to my door rather than my neighbor's door, you know, because... You know, and you say, you know, he's ex service or he's a veteran. And Wait, what, what do you mean? What, they're gonna My kill neighbor him? would kill you? <laughs> yeah. Like, what? The f oh, is it? Yeah. Li listen, I'm racist, but my neighbor, he's so much more yeah, racist. Ex Secret Service, notorious for just killing people for no reason. Like, why would. I like that. I like that she's just like giving the game away while simultaneously just saying, like, oh, my, my neighbors are way more racist than me. You know, he doesn't take. <laughs> the doorbell ringing lightly because what i'm really what? saying to them is you have disturbed what? my entire day dude this is by the way this is the mindset of just That's like so crazy no I mean, americans they, are americans, insane they complain they have, a, they have a fantasy of killing people yes that come to their door they, bro they complain about like how we are no longer a country like where's the sense of neighborhood and some shit all the time and it's then like they fantasy. talk about how they want to use a rocket launcher the first time the <laughs> doorbell rings it's like what's wrong with you what's wrong with you right yeah. um and soliciting is illegal per our hoa and per uh. <laughs> on my window on next yes. to my front door i have a no soliciting sign okay. you know she's gonna say but it's not in spanish just yeah. trust but again they don't speak our language ah! so told you, know. you told and I'm not you gonna put it in spanish. <laughs> oh, what is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. I know my hogs and hogalinas. I speak the language, okay? Dude. I speak fluent hog. Dude, 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 dude. Yup. What's one of the biggest issues you have as a voter going into the immigration? Election? Illegal immigration. Okay. Illegal immigration. Getting American jobs. Crystal mommies are so in right now at CPAC too. Like, look at this. That's a crystal mommy. That's like uh, crystal mommy. Here's my read. Cold read. Crystal mommy uh, got converted during COVID, lost her mind. Still is a crystal mommy, but definitely like super right wing, major anti vaxxer. And guess what? Americans will do anything for money. Take a, your usual Puerto Ricano. They'll do anything, darling. Just pay them in cash. Six bucks an hour. Do you have a personal story uh, about... Yes, I do. Shocking that Wait. she knows that Puerto Ricans are American. Yeah. So that's yeah. good. That's like... That's interesting. Still racist towards the Puerto Ricans, yeah, by the way. What the fuck? Like, yeah. She's like, yeah. They, <laughs> they don't work for anything, brother. Them, them Puerto Ricanos, they... <laughs> They do anything for six dollars, okay? <laughs> Which is insane. Also, this lady does have the Giga Chat jaw. She's about to be like, <laughs> she's about to hit that. Mm, do you mewing. think she smokes cigarettes? She's mew maxing. What's that song that? Bye bye. Do, does anyone know what that? I gotta play that. Does anyone know that song that's like popping on TikTok? The mewing song. Let me see if I can find it. Hold up. It kind of looks like a. What do you think her profession is? <laughs> You're playing they the did video. A I wanted the I wanted the ice whore is the song. This is not the yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is it. Look. Getting American jobs. And guess what? Americans will do anything for money. Take up your usual Puerto Ricano. They'll do anything, darling. Just pay them in cash. They did a sketch. Oh. Oh, spoke only Spanish and rough workman's hands. Uh yeah, right. How do we know that he was 
like uh, undocumented. Okay, because when I took her to the police, which you don't want to go, the okay. policewoman yeah. said definitely. Okay. And you know what she told me? The policewoman said, you go up and down the Rio Grande. There's bras and panties. A girl, I was lucky to get her back, honestly. Lady, you are hallucinating. You think masks are occurring up and down the Rio Grande Valley? Like, dude, dude, you think like the f men and women crossing the Rio Grande Valley, which in a treacherous trek that is like very deadly, are doing it to what? Go to the nearest gas station to like steal a white woman only to bring them back to the side of the Rio Grande Valley to do like what? What just literally, literally walk through the logical steps of this argument and it will immediately fall apart. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. This is a reward for making it across the river. It's like so <laughs> unimaginably racist. <laughs> but even if you were unimaginably racist, like if you had just any f synapses firing up there, you would have to just think this through for a moment, just for a moment. Probably a white flavor trade. How have you been personally affected? Oh my god, he's cosplaying as Donald Trump. Wait, I think he just looks like that. Wait, she thinks there's a white slaver <laughs> trade? Like, like Guatemalans are coming over the Rio Grande Valley to enslave white people? It's probably a white flavor trade. How have you been personally affected? He's, he's got the Donald Trump hair and everything. I think he just looks like that, bro. <laughs> affected by the migrant crisis. Like, do you have a personal story? Unfortunately, maybe for your audience, Looks I like don't, but like I, I, I have. Uh, I love when they say unfortunately. It's like, bro, unfortunately, no, I have not been by a migrant. <laughs> yeah, shit. I really wanted to be a f victim here. Uh, let me tell you, <laughs> I really, I wake up every day and I'm thinking maybe today a migrant will f me. And uh, unfortunately, it has yet to happen. Daughter and a second daughter who are going to be living in Manhattan. And I dread, you know, something happening to them. I think that. Dude, what? Yo, the last thing is, that you got to be concerned about in Manhattan is a, a, is, is a migrant, migrant, <laughs> migrant crime against them. What? Dude, these people think cities like these people genuinely only watch TV and think that like there are mass atrocities occurring Dude, in the city. Right next to the Canadian border. Not the even if oh, it's all bad. It's all fucked. Every it, part, every law, every corner of logic is flawed. They Every just they, they legitimately think that like cities are are always like in the throes of crime. Like there's just people running around and and you know shooting people in broad daylight or some shit, which is ironic because like if you look at the crime statistics, like rural areas that dumb f like this are from, unironically have a higher rate of gun violence and violent crime in general. That's the most hilarious lie that is always channeled in mainstream media. The notion that like cities, some of the wealthiest cities on the planet are actually infinitely less safe than the rural areas in red states. It's crazy. I don't understand. I don't, I genuinely don't understand how people can be this whipped up into a frenzy. That's where a more potential uh, problematic situation could occur. I think obviously in a lot of, you're hearing the urban horror stories uh, Trump has, I think, accurately labeled it migrant crime. It's a new category. It's communism. It's communism. And they're even having law enforcement, illegal aliens as law enforcement. I mean, you you can't cook up. He's like, did you know 52% of Customs Border Patrol is Mexican? <laughs> Which is true, by the way. I mean, it's not Mexican, but Hispanic. Guys, <laughs> guys, they're calling it La Megra. <laughs> they're saying Chinga La Megra while they're actually Mexican themselves. <laughs> That's right. Law enforcement has been taking over. You heard about them, you Valde cops. Half of them are Mexican. Look up how insane this is, and yet there's talk, there's talk, there's musing of a Gavin Newsom for president candidacy. Are you saying that there's police officers that are undocumented? Absolutely. freaking Lulu. Wait, no, wait. Where is uh, this? In Cali, in California, where my youngest daughter is in. in uh, uh, Yo. Uh, well, his daughters are one hundo p not going to be cooked like this. No, okay? no, no. You know he hates. He's going to become increasingly so embarrassed. Yeah, he's going to be increasingly more. His daughters are probably in here right now. Okay, watching the Hassan Ibrahim broadcast, <laughs> going, "Oh my God, not Dad! Oh, that's so <laughs> embarrassing."
okay you know the more you know the more his daughters like want to live in manhattan and shit the less they call him and the more he thinks this is a fault of communism yeah this communism is what separated my daughters from me santa clara in certain areas they have maybe not completely actually you know what i think i heard about this um it's one of those things so anyone from my audience google uh 40 cops and I think it's a, you see like the statistics of how many of the police officers in LA are undocumented. I, I think it's like 40% cops. I would cops. say don't Google it because you're gonna get a false read. The cartels, they're smart. <laughs> they operate, they, it's- Yeah, yeah, you are. Don't Google it, it's all fake. Yeah, when you Google 40%- Everything's fake, except when you Google, what Trump tells us. When you Google 40% cops, you find a very different reality. Trump has access to all the truthful that, information. Do you know what that meme is, by the way? You don't, right? Yeah, it's the 40% of all cops are abusers, right? Yep, domestic abusers yeah. in a self-reported study, mm -hmm. mind you. They realize that it's much more cost effective. Instead of just putting a backpack on a migrant, huh. what they will do is they. The January 6th insurrection pinball machine, by the way, which is awesome. We'll take, you know, a white, well presenting American citizen and have them go through ports of entry and get it through that because it's, you know, this is a business. It's like a holiday is, for them. They're going to get the most bang for their buck. And that. It's like, what do you do with regards to that? Because at this point, yeah, you have, you have, you know, fentanyl has become commonplace. Yeah, absolutely. Fentanyl is a, is a big problem in this country. I live in Montgomery County, so we see on the news that they're putting Narcans in schools and stuff like that to stop overdosing. But the cartels themselves, we need to designate them as a terrorist organization because the problem is all these people who are coming in, all these illegals, aliens who are coming in, they have owe money to the cartels. And we have the deportation yeah, process, everyone. everything working. I think we need mm. to put, the United States needs to put a travel ban on Mexico until there's- It's so cool that the Democratic Party is capitulating to like this mindset. It's just completely, we are getting dumber and dumber. A every travel moment, ban on Mexico. Every moment that we concede to reactionary thinking is a moment we are moving, we're leaping away from the truth, okay? We are looking at dudes who are just hallucinating not enough oxygen to the brain, and we're going, maybe we should hear these guys out. The narrative is just entirely made up. Every single person that comes over the border owes money to the cartels, actually, and, and they're all working at the behest of cartels. It's like, dude, 96% of fentanyl trafficked over the border goes through regular ports of entry. It's And it's also 80% of those people are American citizens, I think, 80 or even higher than 80, I think. It's white guys smuggling it in their cars. It's so dumb. It's so f stupid. Those cartels have destroyed because... Well, that was the thing. I mean, so we just vetoed the immigration bill that was put forth by, you know, it's the Democrats. I think you mean migrants. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. The... The migrant crime is pretty funny. It's so <laughs> stupid. Did you hear about that? Yeah, by, what yeah. was it? Uh, no, no, he, he's saying uh, Biden migrant crime. I call it migrant crime. No, I saw it. No, and then John Stewart made a bisexual joke or something about it. Oh yeah, you are so you are lived up. No, you're fucking, I, I, you're, I you're, love John Stewart. I've been watching catching up on Johnny Boy. Yeah, so. and Republicans. I'm, I'm you had Lankford. You had Kristen Cinema. Mm -hmm. And Kristen Cinema. Like John I mean, she's, I wouldn't really call. Well, she's not a Democrat. Yeah. I mean, she's I, an independent. I, yeah. But you know, at the end of the day, I think he's a bit he's a bit lived up. I, I, I have my criticisms of him, but I still you know, he he, I think he still perfect. carries a lot of weight for his uh, old work and, and uh, how important he was in my development. Don't put your arm on it because remember that one is like unstable. Okay. Day she's kind of like she rolls with us and it was vetoed. Mm -hmm. And you know, I I I had mixed feelings about that. I I Part of me, you know, I don't, it's a part of me that's like, you know what, I don't want Biden to solve it. I, yeah. <laughs> I know it's a really big problem and I, I know it's going to affect us immediately, but I kind of want to be able to, I want to be able to run on this issue. Trump's not going to have anything to run on if this is solved even halfway. So here's what, he, here's what, uh, here's what Trump can say. So Trump can actually advocate for the, uh, for the travel ban on Mexico. Badly the cheat goes because the illegals that are flowing in are being strategically brought in to potentially game the election, the migrant crisis, which is really- Like this dude's opinion is a one-to-one -one with a Nazi. 
<laughs> by the way. Like, but when you say that, people go, what do you mean? Like, how is that? Like, dude, he literally thinks that we are personally trafficking brown people into specific neighborhoods to make the neighborhood less white. Like, that is a psychotic, straight up white supremacist take. Many questions to be asked here. One, first of all, who's doing the directing? Okay. Secondly, what is the issue with a neighborhood being less white than it previously was? Okay. These are issues to investigate, really. Like, what do you, what do you mean? You, you, you got a problem with, like, there being less white people in a neighborhood? Why the f*** do you care? What the fuck? You said racist Herman Munster. <laughs> a crisis by design of illegals being forcibly let in by the Biden cartel. You won't hear it from anyone but me. No other person except Charles Hurt has called it what it is. It's the great replacement theory. It's a great replacement theory, yeah. absolutely, and it's also is that an a, attempt. Is that a Nazi? Yeah, and he doesn't know what it is, and then he just no. He's been he's been told about it from Tucker Carlson, so he thinks it's like probably permissible to say, and that's the issue. Like the the issue is like these guys don't even f understand that like what they're saying is a one to one to what Nazis said. No, they he legitimately thinks this is a normal take because in his circles, it probably is a normal take. By the powers that be to flood America with dependency, uh, creating a one party rule. I mean, the Southern border right now, it's like our replacement. By the way, 100% America would not be the fraction of an economy that it is without a shit ton of migrants. Okay. And I'm not even talking about like, I'm not even talking about like undocumented immigrants or, or anything like that. Obviously, they, they are the reason why we even have an agricultural industry. But the reality is like even birth rates, for example, the, the reason why the United States have been able to avoid the top of the hour ad break or just kidding, not the top of the hour ad break, but like aging out its population in the way that like Japan and some of these other significantly more restrictive countries are running into genuine problems is a consequence of migration that's it that literally is what keeps the american industry alive what remains of it it keeps the american population young it's so stupid anyway um but if you want to keep the momentum going at the top of the hour and not see a three minute ad break all you need to do is subscribe for five dollars or for free here's the three minute ad break now my population is this is the fall of rome it's like they've literally taken how rome fell and that's what they're implementing it's a, it's a great replacement there. he's wait rome fell because of migration what the f what what is he talking about i don't even know what he i i do love this first of all if this mother saw what a roman looked like he'd be like them mexicans <laughs> wait a minute them mexicans were over there in rome too what the f <laughs> 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 why are they fighting the germanic tribes i feel like they're the ones they're the real whites Terry. exactly yeah because because now they've been imported millions and millions of people who know how to live without running water electricity and grocery stores so when they collapse the dollar and the grid goes down and everything else because they're trying to run electric cars after tucker carlson just made the same point there's a post about it on oh tucker carlson recently said rome fell because of unfettered migration is that what he's saying oh here it is tucker carlson recently claimed that the roman empire fell because the roman military its legions became Dominated by non-citizens who, in the end, because they weren't loyal to Rome, turned it against Rome citizens. Bro, Rome, literally, the Roman Empire is a f empire. This is the exact opposite. I'm losing my mind. What is a real Roman citizen, brother? What the f is this guy saying? Suffice it to say, nobody's taken halfway seriously as a historian would ever propose that Rome fell because of immigration, though there are those who still hold that it was the attacks of the Huns and Germanic peoples that were the decisive factor in Rome's demise, but to equate armed invasions with immigration is disingenuous in the extreme. The fall of Rome has long been used for political purposes. It can be argued that the fall of Rome is due to the wealthy part, uh, patricians using their clout in the Senate to give themselves tax exemptions and turn help them. The Gauls didn't cross the border. The border crossed them. Yeah, what the f I, I It's like, okay, first of all, whenever someone tells you, here's why the Roman Empire fell, Understand that you're talking to someone who's just repeating something that they've heard because the Roman Empire fell for like 400 f years. Mm -hmm. Okay. What the f are we talking about? Which Roman Empire is the first question? Are we talking about the Byzantine Empire, which is the official fall of the Roman Empire, 1453, best year of my life? Or are we talking about uh, not the Byzantine Empire? And that's a separate one. And regardless, regardless, the notion that like 
the Roman Empire fell for one reason is always so imaginable, unimaginably dumb. You're talking about like a continuation uh, of of like what a thousand f years? Like get the f out of here. Equating armed invasion with immigration is disingenuous. It is true the late Roman military made extensive use of the so-called barbarian troops recruited from the outside of the empire's borders. Prominent examples cool the half vandals. Yeah, I think uh, I think Sean literally made a video about Today this. Today and a worthless currency. There were hardly any women, children, or elderly. No, they were mainly young, military-aged males who made... I have a degree in classes that focus on Rome. If you ask 100 historians about the main reason for the fall of Rome, you'll, you'll get 100 different answers. But there is no one reason for the fall of a thousand years existing empire. That's why my point is like, which, which fall of Rome? How did Rome fall? Mm. Like, which Rome are you talking about? But let me tell you, if there's one consistent principle in the existence of Rome, it is that it was diverse. That's the, that's the hilarious part. It's like, bro, stop. You are almost as bad as them. What do you mean? I'm, I'm saying that it is infinitely more complicated than specifically pointing to one factor. But the, there's two things that Rome definitely was. Well, I guess period-wise, it, it, it differs a little bit too. Being gay as mm. okay? And also being super diverse. Mm. So like the idea that if you were to point to e each of these uh, principles as the fall of the... Uh, Roman Empire, you're an absolute baboon. Also, I feel like they're they're in a way almost like I don't know. I feel like they're they're falling to like Roman propaganda almost. Roman Rome isn't the only empire. People act like China, India, Africa didn't all have empires that fell for different reasons. It is not useful to equate Rome with everything. Yeah, <laughs> so said FYI, Rome I call, fell because of DEI. Brother, I'm Turkish. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> FYI, calling it the Byzantine Empire is disingenuous. They never called themselves that, and they called themselves Romans. A more accurate name is Eastern Roman Empire. The term Byzantine came as the West. Wanted to appear as though they were the true inheritors of the Roman legacy. I know. Isn't DEI the diversity thing? Yeah. That's what that's what they claim. That's yeah, Rome fell the DEI, brother. Yeah, DEI. All right, they anyway, shut down all the coal plants and everything else. Do you have a, a personal story about how the migrant crisis has affected you? Um, not so much. I'm retired now. I mean, again, I'm, I was a welder, power plant stuff. So, I mean, I was, I've never had a... I mean, in the, in the construction industry, they pretty much taken it over, I will say. And if you look at the birth rate or the population increase, this is the highest increase in population we've ever had, and it is almost entirely due to immigration. It's been crazy. Well, yeah, really bad thing. Why are you saying that if, as if it's a bad thing, dog? Also, the irony of like being a young groiper like this is that you're never going to f You are literally permanently turning yourself into an un loser. So you're never going to replace the white birth rates either. You are contributing to the decline of white birth rates by being this groiper loser, dude. He's on grinder for sure. Dummy. I swear. Did you order something else? Sorry, There's Dr. no Pepper. way it came this uh, quick. They make the same at the groiper factory. They all look the same. Wow. Racism. The real racism right here. This guy's on grinder. Increase in population we've ever had, and it is almost entirely due to immigration. It's been crazy with dealing with it in my county. We had a homeless shelter that, you know, they were using it to house a few migrants. Mm -hmm. So we got the entire shelter shut down. Cool. And yeah, and cool. the yeah now they're living in the street. Nice. I mean, not like that. We should kill them. <laughs> uh, they were started. You know, we had the building evacuated, and then they were like camping outside in tents because they had nowhere to like live mm -hmm. and you know we had to get the police to come in and sort of i don't know, tear gas them and get oh, them there you go. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah and get them out of the oh county my God. Cool. Else. oh yeah. that's one way to go about it yeah and so i mean it's a win-win because it's like i didn't want we didn't <laughs> want a, a homeless shelter in our county in the first place well, you know, we well, some, I mean, you, you have the, some people that are going to, you know, whether they're veterans or whatever, who I mean, for, if, they're, if they're veterans, they, yeah, they, sure. they find themselves in a bad circumstance because, you know, they a lot of people come back from that kind of thing and they're not quite right and they don't quite fit back uh, in. For veterans, but, but, yeah, I mean, otherwise so, it's like, you know, I mean, so they're, they're, we're so not a socialist country. Yeah, so exactly. I mean, yeah, especially with these illegals, gas, they don't have a place to stay, immigrants. stick them on a boat back. My family owns property by the border. I'm not going to say where. Uh, yes. And, you With know, uh, we have logic, people that I think. Why, like, these people's logic, like, America was, like, around when Jesus, like, America didn't exist. It's like, 
according to them, Jesus only loves American citizens. That's like according to them. Sorry, I'm just trying to add insightful commentary. Think are, uh, I mean, I think they're migrants. They came across yes. the property, and yes. you know, we shoot at them, or we okay. do def we defend ourselves. Okay. Let's not say. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah. so, yeah. Um, because I'm, they're trespassing. Yeah, and I'm worried <laughs> that if Biden gets reelected. The Democrats are going to prosecute me for, for this. Defending yourself. Yeah, like I mean, because it's and like, protecting your land. yeah, it's like I I can't <laughs> say that I've never hit someone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, uh, right. Uh, you know, but it's right. and yeah. Well, I think it depends on which state, and of course, I know you're not going to say, but you know, it, it depends. <laughs> um, she I, said, I she said, your secret's safe with me, is what she said. <laughs> Texas probably they would you know be fine with I, that but give me, the, give me throw me a parade <laughs> yeah should, exactly exactly do it from Texas not yeah. so much uh California or New Mexico yeah. and you know who knows where Arizona so, yeah, I mean, so the moral of this story uh, this is random but I think Oregon has very they've got stand your ground laws in Oregon so d d just because the state's liberal doesn't necessarily they mean that they don't have laws on is, uh, if you want to shoot that, is that right? it, you know illegals on your property do it Oregon in a red have, state like, Super yeah. insane so. yeah. stand your ground laws <laughs> like, or something. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, that's where we're at right now. A, no, I know it's a mess right now with regards that's to true. freedom of speech. That's a good point, mm -hmm. right? I had a family member that was thrown in jail for his political beliefs. Oh, believe me, they, I've been this, I've been hanging by a thread. I've had the FBI been to, yeah. he's been to my house twice. So, you know, the FBI came to his house. Oh, they shit. confiscated his ice cream truck, all of his guns. Uh, they shut down his factory. All the kids that work there are com totally unemployed. And now his <laughs> wife can't visit him in jail because she's not 18. Mm -hmm. you know? And now a lot of the J6, uh, there's several group organizations that have booths downstairs that are trying to help the J6 families with, you know, like coming into town for trials, hearings, and whatnot. Uh, the J6 yeah, I've been families. working with some of them because, like I say, I, I just thank God every day that Chris Cox had me inside the Ellipse, you know, like at the White House. Oh, yeah. So when so when so when by the time I got out of there and got to the Capitol, everything was already over with. I mean, I marched around a little bit outside. There's a lot of suspicious stuff there. I had a lot of friends that were inside the Capitol, and you know they saw a lot of suspicious things going down. His when name they were is literally on his badge. Look at that. In Nancy Pelosi's office, when they were you know in you know going around the Capitol, and so this. There was a lot of shady people there that day. Oh, there were, and there were a lot of plants. I mean, like I say, you got the whole Ray Epps thing. I mean, they had info, FBI infiltrators. They confiscated his guns, his ice cream truck. And now that he's in jail, he, uh, his wife cannot visit because she's not 18. And they shut down his factory. Like, you have all these unemployed kids. It's a mess. It's a mess. Yeah. And... There's only, honestly, if things don't go the way I want it in 24, I've decided I'm leaving. I'm leaving America. Where would you go? Probably South America. What? She said she'd leave America and go to South America, which is straight to the stores, baby. Straight to the house. My nails, have, I was looking for nail polish remover chat because my nails have gotten out of control. And I went into my mom's closet. Mm. It's like, I'm going down there. See how they like it. <laughs> See how they like it if they if I migrate to your neighborhood. <laughs> Probably Argentina. You yeah. don't even have freedom of association. So like I have, you know, people, you know, people being jailed for their political beliefs. Yeah, or being debanked. Yeah. They, people yeah. are debanked, they're deplatformed, yeah. they lose Kanye. their jobs. You, it, there are certain people in this country that if you take a picture with them and you post it, you will lose your job. He's talking My, about Nick uh, Fuentes. My uncle was jailed for his political beliefs. They took away his ice cream truck, confiscated his guns, you know, and now his wife can't visit him in jail because she's not 18. And this is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, the politicization, the politicization of the government is just a travesty. And these laws, it is all about selective enforcement. And it's like J6, there are laws on the book and they're like, okay, let's take it to the fullest extent. Let's let's really see what we can do. And on the flip side of the coin, it's like we have laws on the book, but oh, you know, we can't deport these poor immigrants. They're they're people just like us. Yeah, fam uh, they're, they're yeah, just yeah, totally. Famously, we don't deport any any immigrants. <laughs> <Yeah. That's right. laughs>
We're always going, oh, you know, they're just like us. We can't deport them. Wasn't Obama like the most deporter in chief? Yes. This is why it's like it's nutty to to ever like cave or concede or capitulate to the right wing fantasies. They literally live in a parallel universe where it's just completely made up. I found the Proud Boys Gab account. Posted his sick ass ride. Wait, no way. This dude's ride is like, you're just making this up, right? His name was on his card. Oh, you dude actually, did you actually find his Gab account? I pointed out the fact that his name was on his. Oh, wait, you got the bape. Wait, Miz and I almost bought that car yesterday. You, not that exact car, but it was red. I'm not even kidding. Imagine that picking you up as an Uber. I thought he was like. The H H. If he's HHR, actually yeah. from, if he's actually from like a port family i'm gonna lose my mind dude because like i thought the look that look screams like uh, a child of a wealthy small business owner i'm not buying that car guys come on i drive you know come on i'm not buying that y'all know i'm not buying that all right let's get back to the video. trying to get a good job and uh, i'm totally done with it but I will say, I respect the Democrats because they play to win. We do not play to win. We play to lose, and then we throw our hands up and say, oh, imagine if the roles were reversed. Rhinos. Wait, wait huh? hold on. Rhinos. Yeah, we need to kick all of them out. No, they don't. Matt the Gates is a real Democrats patriot, real the, American the patriot. Not a multiple. It's literally the opposite. It's the one thing they do wrong. No, they there, don't play it, to win. The only way you think this, the only way you think this is if you're just like a straight up Nazi, I think. Because because they're not winning hard. They're not racist. Yeah, they're enough. not. They're not. Yeah, you're like because the Republican Party does actually give you everything you want. Do you want at least it's in the direction of the things you want. The Democratic Party only claims they care about the things that the the uh, voters actually want. This guy needs a swirly. We need to just shove his head into a toilet. Wow. You're you're uh, pushing for political violence against your opponents. Classic Democrat. The real violent, no, the real violent ones are the Democrats. No, I'm saying that's what he would oh. say. Yeah, it's so violent to give you a swirly. I don't disagree with you. <laughs> I, I don't disagree with you on that front at all. It's the type he of kid to give me a swirly. This is the type of kid who just like genuinely thinks that he's, um, you know, alpha, alpha dog yeah. because he says that. I, I wonder if he wants to compare grinder accounts. <laughs> I don't know. He could. I think he would win the off oh no he, he might win the suck off no he couldn't even get it up uh, mm, he looks like he, he seems like you're scared no i'm not scared of that seems shit. Like you're scared of his now that's a selfish top right there that's you're a selfish scared of top. his prowess dude that's a selfish top right there this is what people want me to be this is what you think i am i'm not I, that's a selfish top doors open is that my no bro it's my food and the guy's like what the hell is he saying I just saw him on camera, and he's like, what <laughs> "Oh, wait, the you, you you just heard me say, yeah, he, selfish that's a top. selfish top, is what he heard." <laughs> Everybody has a time come when they got to take it all for themselves and for more money. Okay. Full times, um, great guy. Great I met him too. Yeah, he is. People think you're a pedophile. I don't think you're a pedophile at all. I don't think he's a pedophile at all. The charges against him are totally false. They're totally false. Oh my god. We love Matt Gates. Yeah, we do love Matt. That was such a banger oh, video. God. Gates, very, very good man. It's just everything there is a mess. Oh, it this is my favorite bar. Okay, okay. This is my, this is my classic child beauty pageant. Every conservative that constantly talks about like child predation loves child beauty pageants. Oh God. And will defend it unconditionally. You know, with, you know my daughter does beauty pageants. Okay. Great, um, fine, and but now they've gone woke as well. There was another fourth grader that came in and they were wearing a, well it was another fourth grade girl came in and uh, she was wearing a, a rainbow bikini okay all right making a statement i yeah, suppose and it was a fourth grader a fourth grader a rainbow bikini oh. of all things and i was because like because they don't care yeah they don't care who they hurt right. who they sacrifice yeah and it was it was ridiculous and the, you know and they, people say like in her no, defense my favorite part of that is they, they don't care about the bikini no it's the fact that it's rainbow yeah, yeah, yeah. no it, that's like the most telling part about that's it is that's that. so funny they never go oh a bikini that's weird nope just the rainbow which basically reveals hassan you're a fat bitch dude i am the skinny kid right now okay oh my lord you don't understand it son come at me any other day of the goddamn week maybe come at me two months ago when i wasn't feeling so fresh so hot but coming at me right now ooh, ooh, yeah look son. Yo, I, I used to call him a fat 
fucked every day, but he's not a fat bitch anymore. Okay. okay. Well, that's mean. All right. That's mean. Okay. Why would you? He's slimmed up. All right. That's crazy that you just <laughs> said that. Okay. I was up. It's past tense. It's not mean anymore. Oh, okay. You're a skinny legend. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize that's how you felt about me. No. I was a fitness journey. Why do you think I something? ever? I would never invite you to the gay bar. <laughs> That's insane. I'm just kidding. That's insane that you're just. I'm just kidding. I, he's never, I've never perceived you as fat. Okay. I was though. God uh -uh. damn, I was. Chat and look, you I, might not have perceived me as chat, such. Here's the deal. Whatever, whatever you, your body, your choice. I don't care what anybody looks like. As the long fatties. As you, no, I, look, I don't. Bro, you're too gay. Don't lie. I think everybody's beautiful. I really you're, do. Don't lie. No, I'm serious. Like everybody. Austin, you have never had sex with someone over 10% body fat. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shut the f That's not true. That's 100% true. That's definitely not true. Damn, this is six ounces right on the That's actually true. God. Yeah, you have literally never... That's not you've true. You've never had someone with 11% body no, fat. No, I have. No, okay. Between 10 and 15%. That's... Cr sure. What about you? No, hold on. This isn't fair. Wait, what? This is not fair. What do you, what do you mean? Men traditionally carry less body fat percentage. This is a this is this is a I, homophobic I, I, argument. I, I love my tubby ladies. You're out of your mind. No, and I love be tub. big beautiful women as well. But I don't have sex with women, right? Yeah, but you don't. This is a the homophobic. Is, is this a heteronormative homophobic argument, folks? No, the point is you don't. He's fuck. like you've never fucked anybody over a certain body fat percentage because because guess That's what? That's not true. That's not true. Because I'm, women I'm, tend to carry more body fat percentage because they bear children. And they're beautiful, and they're natural, and they're gorgeous. Austin is so gay that he doesn't realize he's saying women are just fat. No, like he's, no. he's saying you fat women because no. you because women are fat all no, the time. No, that's not what You've I said. You've reached. You have literally reached peak gay right now. That is not what I said you at all. You just said that. No, no, women are not fat. Some no women are no women are beautiful and uh, natural. Uh, uh, uh huh. And no fat. No, no women are women can be. I mean. Go ahead. There's some the, people that could be. You are statistically... crossing a dangerous boundary. Uh -oh. Go ahead. No, no, no. no. no Go ahead. He... Some women are fat. Is that what you're going to no, say? No, I don't think any women are fat. So being fat is a bad thing. No, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. So what, what's the wrong? What's the problem with I think, fat I think, women? I think. You, Why do you have a problem with fat women? I think women? fat is a slur. No, that's not the proper way to say it. On International Women's if, International Women's Day on Women's History Month, this we're going, man we're going. is a menace y'all know everybody knows i just won the argument i don't think anybody thinks you you just got cooked in front of your audience and you're embarrassed <laughs> this is the funniest cope no one agrees with you <laughs> oh well it's not hurting anyone but it is no, because you, no, it distracted not. everyone it distracted my daughter when she was trying to do her dance i don't know routine. what the fuck she i was trying to like say okay. off the pole and it was it was disruptive Absolutely, because it doesn't belong there, because it's inappropriate. My daughter, Did she I does child beauty pageants. Pageant. Recent pageant, no. my, uh, some, one of the contestants, from the fourth grader, one of the girls. Wait, go back. Uh, was a boy? Well, no, she, uh, ruined it distracted my daughter when she was trying to do her dance routine. She nearly, like, fell off the pole, and it was, it was disruptive. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, one chatter says something that's really cool. That's, that's actually pretty good. Walter does watch. He's a Hasanabi head. So here's a here's a trick. Here's another rhetorical good one for you, Walter. Next time, talk about how wokeness has ruined child beauty pageants by saying that your daughter had uh, the stars and bars bikini, like the rebel flag bikini, oh. and how they wouldn't let her wear the rebel flag bikini, but they let, but it, they let the rainbow bikini go Walter through. Right here? I don't know if he's in here right now, but he does. He does usually. I, I know he's a Hasanabe head, so this is probably get to him. That's a great one, dude. Good job, Chatters. The, the yeah. whole like. Hey, thanks for the sub. He's an Austin head. That's a great one. Oh shit. What? My Dr. Pepper here. Yeah, go get it. Because it doesn't belong there. Because it's inappropriate. My daughter, she does child beauty pageants. Recent pageant, my uh, some, one of the contestants from the fourth grader, one of the girls. Uh, was a boy? Well, no, she uh, wore a, um, was it rainbow bikini to like the That's bathing suit obscene. competition. That's indecent. Yeah. That is <laughs> horrifying. Yeah, the woke alphabet mafia wants us all to be debaucherous sluts. Distracted what? her from her dance routine. She of almost course. fell off the pole. It was, it, you know, it was disruptive. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Look, Lady and, MAGA stands for decency. Yeah, and I'm glad that people like, yeah. And your daughter 
you know, just tell her that if someone's wearing a wig and makeup, they're still a man. You know, there's no such thing as a man becoming a woman. Yeah. You know. Thank you. They go through a lot of procedures, but there are two genders, no matter how much makeup you're wearing. <laughs> yeah, there's two genders, there's two pronouns, there's yes, two... exactly. Yeah. Daughter does uh, child beauty pageants. Mm -hmm. It's gone woke. You know, someone came into the pageant... Someone told me they have 14 year olds, trans boys, eight girls. No, well, they had someone there that came in with the, the rainbow bikini for the bathing suit competition. Oh. And that okay. was, it was like distracting. Yeah. And they're like my uh, daughter, like almost like screwed up her dance routine. They nearly like fell off the pole to choose, and and it was like, oh my goodness. And it, it, I was like, this is why is this in this space? Yeah, right. well, you're making a political statement that has nothing to do with the competition. Right. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 it's, it's everywhere. It, it it permeates everything and is everywhere. And I don't know why can't we just let kids be kids? Let kids be kids. Yeah. And one of the things that the College of Public America is intending to do is create hey, a better in. College of Public that is more effective, more fiery, and more conservative than at any other point in our oh history. My oh my God. Because right now we need it more than ever. We look at what's happening in our country, all across our country, at how the left is taking over our institutions of power, how the left is taking over our universities, our schools, and oh college Republicans are the number one way that we can strike back. The unful loser convention, dude, holy f uh, back in the day, college Republicans and young people who became Republican usually became that way through one specific method, through their parents. They were brought into it by their parents, by community members, by people that they personally knew. What Nowadays, they make it sound like a cult. Nowadays, young conservatives find their views, find their way of thinking through the internet, through social media, through the influence of current events. And college Republicans didn't adapt to that. Back in the day, the college Republicans were something that you could run like a model you went to play. It was, you go there and discuss tax policy, discuss how we can improve our GDP, and it really stayed there. It didn't move on from there. Nowadays, the conservative movement and the Republican Party is more than just a discussion over specific tax policies. It's a cultural movement for the soul of this country. We are taking back this country. You want to talk about wokeness, I have literally lost debate rounds at state competitions because I'm white. I have been rallied against because I'm white, I'm a man, I'm a Christian, all of these things, I'm a Republican. Try telling a young person, especially a young woman, that you are conservative. It will be the end of the conversation. It will be the end of dating. Yes, yes. I mean, if you have enough charisma and you dress well. Called it, called it, baby. Oh, man, holy shit. Called it. Mm. There it is. There it is, right there. Oh, I told the you. I told you. Oh my God, it's so perfect. Like I've lost debates because I'm a young white Christian. Is like there you go. There, there, there you go, dude. So much of this resentment just coming. So much of this resentment coming from one place, dude. Losing debates and not getting pussy. Well enough. Maybe you get around it, but there's only so much my suit can do before she's like, oh. You're a conservative. So yeah, this, this wokeness, this indoctrination, they're using our children against us. They're pulling the rug out from under us. We can't afford to live. And, and it's, it's a communist takeover. I mean, you have these, I'd say, communist companies like BlackRock and Zillow buying up all these properties yes. to raise property values. Now you can't buy a house in that area. Yes, I personally think that we should ban corporations or hedge funds or investment banks, large corporations, from owning single family homes. I'm not necessarily opposed to wealthy people having multiple oh, homes, fuck, especially if they're mean? American citizens, What's but foreign nationals, mean? foreign corporations, and corporations in America should not be allowed to buy up these houses. It's a decade old private equity trick where you buy up all the local firms in your area, you buy up the family owned businesses, you shut them all down, you consolidate them. They do this with hospitals as well. In fact, Rick Scott got rich off of doing this. He bought some hospitals, did a merger and acquisition, shut him down. Yeah, I, I, I try not to talk about Ritz Scott, but yeah, he makes our side look really bad. You yeah, know, he's it, like a grifter. Exactly. That's something that sounds bipartisan, putting local laws in place so that you can't just, you know, buy up these properties, yes, you know, yes. as a way to park your money, foreign or domestic. It's, yes, yes. And 
it, it's the monopolization of real estate. Real estate is one of the largest like financial sectors. Most of the millionaires are real estate millionaires. Right, exactly, like Donald Trump. But Donald Trump built useful real estate. These corporations what? like BlackRock and Van... Dude, that's awesome. That's insane. It's just, this is what happens when you're... You sold real estate like, tr like what, hotel Your entire casinos? politics, your entire politics is just driven <laughs> completely by spite. And also hallucinations. <laughs> or you can use this as a trash bag for all the trash. Also, give me those napkins. I'll use this. <laughs> God, you're a hoarder. Actually, but you're a strategic hoarder. But you, you, you like collect silverware and napkins. Well, I, I don't want to throw it out. No, you're strategic. No, it's very strategic. You if it comes me. in the, if it comes with the, with the meal I have, I don't want to throw. I don't want to throw it out. You're Guard. saving. It's they very, just buy up cool. single family homes. They consolidate it. And instead of being able to buy a house, you can only rent it. <laughs> I know it's really, it costs a lot to buy a home now, but you can go on Jeff Bezos' new app and you can, for a hundred dollars, you can own part yeah. of a home. Oh yes, yes. You will own nothing, but you will be happy. Yeah, you'll be on the happy. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about world. Are you ready for the new world order? All right, come on, come on. We got to play it. We got to play it for Austin. He's probably never seen it. Does anyone have it? Uh, I have a drawer for silverware. Does anyone have the song? And I have a stove too. Take that, liberals. Hell yeah, brother. I have a gas stove, gas oven. Hell yeah, brother. Austin, have you ever seen this? Are you ready for the it's all the grievances and fears that conservatives have about the World Economic Forum. Oh, uh, okay. Which is bad because it's a liberal institution, but not bad because they think it's a communist institution. Mm. And what's really funny about it is that they yeah. talk about, like, the guy is, like, complaining about the metaverse in this, saying, like, oh, they want us to live in the metaverse. It's like, bro, if you made this video, you already live in the metaverse. What the are you talking about you've never left your house yes i have to explain the joke he's a boomer okay we have an elderly millennial uh, amongst us here i have to describe it oh economic yeah, form. Yeah, yeah yeah what do you think about joe biden's whole student loan debt forgiveness plan uh it's a total scam it's a total grift but you have to admire the uh, gumption of the biden administration because they ultimately do not care what the supreme court says they don't care what the Congress says or what the Senate says. They're going to do what they want. So you have to admire the fact that they play to win. Because ultimately, when student loan forgiveness gets blocked, it looks bad on us. Oh, you don't want to help out the, the rich trust fund kids or the kids that got into a liberal arts school and took out hundreds of thousands in debt. That's, that's ultimately what it is. It's paying off the voters. And if he does not pay off the voters, it looks bad on us because they're going to spin it as oh, you don't care about the common student, you don't care about kids, and that's not the case. What we need to do is decrease the cost of inflation, or decrease the cost of education. It's like a Reagan thing, where Reagan was the one who, you know, killed, you know, these state schools being free. My thought was reverse some of these Reagan-era policies. If state schools are free, then every other you know, every other school has to compete with that because there's this free option. If you think about it, Reagan really did lead us on this path. He implemented a lot of liberal social policies. And, and if you want to have like a conservative economic policy, you have to have a socially conservative society. Wait, no, wait, what, wait, what, was, he, wait, no, wait, what are, liberal are policy like could he start? the conservatives like Reagan now? Amnesty. I mean, I, no, he's a f Nazi, bro. That's why oh. he doesn't like Reagan. Jesus Reagan Christ. was also a Nazi, but... It's pretty funny that he's like, um, he's like, yeah, I don't really like Ronald Reagan because, see, he's saying no fault divorce. What's no fault divorce? In this country, you can just like divorce your partner without actually, um, you know, making like abuse claims and shit. That's what he's upset about. Mm, that seems like a real joy. Yeah, he also talked about amnesty for migrants, which Ronald Reagan did do, which is something that he hates, I guess. No fault divorce. He was not very good on gun control and gun legislation. He was very free global trade which hollowed out the interior of this country and like i said i'm from kansas like the only jobs oh, out there shows. are manufacturing hard like hard labor <laughs> it's well, it's no, like wait, wait low, no fault divorce from but kansas, isn't that like no. after 60 days or I'm 90 just... days you can get a no fault divorce well no fault divorce means that you can literally divorce someone for no reason and it is it essentially removes all of the merit and all of the meaning behind how else would you develop such a well-informed diverse global perspective i love this guy openly just like the the people complaining about no fault divorce are so funny. It's like no, dude, you that's insane. Like you you sound like a psycho. 
Look, sorry for those of you from Kansas, but I mean, admittedly, you guys made it. You guys are the few that made it out. He's mad. Women are not hostages. Like, that's insane, dude. You can't. This is just as out of touch as like, this is just as out of touch as like advocating um to, to ban recreational sex. Like no one is going to agree with you, dumbass. You are so insane. Mind having a marriage. Once you are married, you're supposed to be inseparable. Your two flesh become one. Marriage is supposed to be for the purpose of procreation oh, and for a family. What is the incentive to get married? It's no, it's no different than dating someone but having a piece of paper to say that you're dating. No wonder nobody wants to date it because he tells this date when we when I get married, I see it as our flesh connected and we can never separate. No, it's cr he's openly he's admitting eat, it. He's, he's gonna easily. He, no, he's openly admitting it's a hostage situation. Yeah, what the f? No, but no wonder. He's like, what's the incentive to getting married if if it's the same as like if if they're gonna leave me? Like that's what he's saying <laughs> out of his mind. Dating them. If you are not comfortable with making a lifelong decision don't get married that is what mm. marriage is for honestly reagan's like neoconservative libertarianism has started to hollow out this country if you want economically conservative policies you need a socially conservative people and through socially conservative policies we will engineer a so, like, so it's socially conservative policy like ending no fault divorce yes ending uh, very very um, pro-life uh i'm fine with <laughs> certain exceptions you know He's not very pro-life. <laughs> very pro-life until marriage, okay? <laughs> at, at which point, I am no longer pro-life. You are mine. You are my property. He wants state-enforced girlfriends. Like, literally, like, state-mandated weddings, marriages. Rape, incest, abuse, that makes up a marginal amount of cases. It's, it's 1% to 2%. I'm fine with conceding that on a case-by-case -case basis or danger to the mother, but ultimately we need to prioritize the lives of our children, the lives of our family, and the lives of our community members. We are not the world's bank. We are not a. We are not an economic zone. No more money to Ukraine. Yeah. Uh, no more money to Israel. Yeah. I do not want to send aid to any country. Okay. We are not the world's police force. We have the Second Amendment. We have two oceans on either side. Canada is essentially docile. And oh yes, um, he, you wouldn't get the treats you love if it wasn't for American imperialism. Okay, I hate hearing left wing talking boys being bastardized. And you say you should really be supporting national socialists, not these commie scum. Yeah, it's um these guys are not going to go anywhere in the Republican Party. They've always existed. They chirp and chirp. It's um it is a change. It is a sign of the change of times, though, that there are more prominent voices that are populist in their economic policy, but also still in insanely nationalist. You know, a national socialism, if you will, which is not socialism at all, because they care only about the nationalism. You can't be like, oh, I'm anti-corporate and also pro making sure the state at gunpoint enforces marriages as a contract. Anyway. We can build a border wall, and we would essentially be indif we, we would be impregnable. So you go to school, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's a college. So you said it's pretty liberal. Yeah. And you don't really get flack until what? Until we do our uh, chalking on the sidewalk. So uh, for those of you who don't know, chalking is where we essentially advertise for our club. So whenever we do that, we tend to have a lot of people that we'll see pouring water all over our stuff. And uh, we've had a lot of issues with people writing obscenities over the things that we write on the sidewalk. And then uh, facilities management has to come and power wash the sidewalks, which is not only a waste of their time and the school's money, but um, it's not a good look for anybody. So what's currently in the curriculum on your campus that you're like, all right, this is not education, it is, this is indoctrination. I don't really know if I can speak to that. So I'm an engineering student. Okay. So a lot of our stuff is science and math. Okay. And a lot of that's not, a, it's not up for debate. It's, it's pretty objective. You know, so I'm dealing with my daughter right now. Her of course she is. It's so funny because I like, obviously this is Twitch and it's like pretty STEM dominated as a platform. So all of you mother know a guy exactly like that one who think that like humanities are a waste of time and then never understand personally why they don't quite get how society operates because they have this like insane in their minds hyper rational autistic way of approaching everything them perverts love jordan peterson for that reason because he bastardizes he bastardizes sociological concepts to suit the needs of a right-wing conservative framework 
So they're all like, oh, he's so brilliant. Her school is trying to teach her consent. How old is she? I'm, that's a great question. How old should she be for her to learn about consent? What's an appropriate age for a child? She should be learning that stuff in school to begin with. <laughs> no. Yeah. I understand there's a sexual ed class. I took one. But I um, mean, that not, should be the limit of it, you know, just uh, one yeah, class and when you're a senior or something like that. Maybe a, a senior, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, she should learn about it as a senior. Mm -hmm. Thank you. They're teaching my daughter about consent at her school. Consent. No. Consent. For what? A tranny operation? What? If someone touches you, oh, you can't do that. I don't consent Jesus to that. Christ. Oh, Jesus. Get a life. Yeah, Back in the 60s, I'll tell you what, we steamed up the windows of some beer with some heavy <laughs> neck, and my dear. I'm 72 years old. I can tell you all about I did consent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was my choice to consent. <laughs> what? What the f***, lady? You are a victim. I don't think you understand. I think you are, you would literally benefit from consent education at an early age, it seems. She literally openly, this is why a lot of right wingers like hate sex ed because sex ed is where a lot of kids learn that they are being predated on because like children don't know what consent is and what's right and what's wrong. But rarely ever do you hear someone go, yeah, you shouldn't teach children about consent because. Back in my day, I got f by my gym teacher and I liked it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That's insane to say. <clears throat> <laughs> How old do you think a girl should be before she learns about consent? 30. <laughs> <laughs> 30. That's it. 30. That's it. Oh my God. You know, but honestly, I wish I had been there because I would have popped that son of a bitch like a cockroach. Yeah. What? When did she learn about it? It's the guy that... No, she's saying she would beat up the teacher that's trying to teach consent to Wait. children at sex ed. Wait, I thought he, I thought I thought she was talking about the guy that because her daughter. Remember what happened? No, to, that's uh, not what she's talking about. Okay, I'm losing the, track. Yes, this is the same lady. You're right. That talked about how uh, her daughter was. Oh, uh, okay by what she alleges is an undocumented mexican could i have a little bit of that pita no no i just uh, i don't just, take it. just a little just a little take it no, take just... it's so good here's some hummus too no. oh come on you got oh uh, we got dipping in the hummus it's the bread of my people or not the bread of my people the the, the... oh good. my god hummus is lebanese baby is this lebanese food it's uh it's mediterranean it's mm. middle eastern Mm -hmm. I mean, look, so she was look like my, learning uh, about look it on my this Wikipedia. Year. I was born in Beirut. She's 13 years old. Oh, see, I, I think that's wrong. My daughter, she, the school that she's at right now is trying to teach her consent. Consent. Well, consent. Cons like, yeah, consent. Like sexual consent. Yeah. At, yeah. at what age? Uh, that's well, actually, yeah, I let mean, me ask honestly, you. Let me ask that you. Doesn't really even what's, matter. Yeah, what's a, what's an appropriate age to teach uh, a I mean, person that, about that, consent? That's a good. That's a good point. I don't think the school has any business teaching that. I actually, when I was in high school, I debated in favor of comprehensive sex ed, but now we fast forward about. Uh, Bro, this guy's entire life revolves around high school high school debate club. You know that's a mother destiny head, dude. One hundo p probably in here half the time i'm sorry this 100 never have i ever seen a dude so in the pocket okay started following after the chicken and waffles nick fuentes conversation and then was like well this guy actually really has a lot of good ideas six seven years later and comprehensive sex ed has turned from oh like you should wear a condom or or you should know birth control which i don't believe in those things but it's turned from that and a sort of social liberalism to teaching kids how to masturbate at, in sixth grade, you know, pardon my language, but these are the people doing it. These people are indoctrinating them into gender ide ideology, telling them to mutilate themselves. If a person says that they're suicidal, why would you give in to them? Mentally, ra <laughs> mentally <laughs> rational people. Yeah. When someone says they're suicidal, you're not supposed to medicate them, okay? You're just supposed to say, no, you're not. And then even maybe put them near a ledge and go, ha, ah, see, go ahead. <laughs> what do you mean? You're not supposed to give in to them. Like, what take is this? Are you supposed to be like, oh, you, you encounter a suicidal person and you're supposed to what? Not give in to them as in and be like, no, you're not. <laughs> go ahead. Prove me wrong. <laughs> like, what is this argument? <laughs> He's...
Uh, when someone says they're suicidal, say no balls. Bro is anti-life in every every capacity. Oh my god! Someone said you he's supposed to do, you're supposed to debate them out of it. If this dude, dude, if you this is the thirteenth reason why. Okay, <laughs> this mother shows up, tries debating you at the ledge, you're done. You've made things so much worse. <laughs> do not think about taking their own lives. So it makes no sense to give into an irrational person's demands like we have done with gender ideology. Oh my what god! What do you think is an appropriate wait, age to teach? He's he's unironically saying like if someone is suicidal you're not supposed to like medicate them or or offer them health care like what your child about consent well I would say that that's probably the parents' job not the school how old do you think a child should be before she learns about consent um I I think that that like consent for a sexual activity they why are they like, discussing that exactly maybe, maybe high school maybe like 15 16 when i don't know that but it definitely should not be in an elementary school and that should be only a conversation between parents and their child i've the never had Steve sex Bannon's ed in elementary school an investigative reporter and i have my own clothing line did you have sex ed though yeah in middle school and uh, no, really? not even middle school high school i had sex ed in high school wait no no maybe i did have sex ed in, i was a fifth grader maybe it's probably like very different than the I sex forget. ed that you I got in high school, I, I though, right? What the fuck. I don't know. Well, it didn't work for me. Clearly, they didn't they didn't teach me uh, nothing about gay sex. Yeah, and gay sex. There's well, nothing taught. I about wonder that. why. Yeah. This is literally the reason why. I had to learn it all on my own, folks. It's so funny. Believe me. They they tr they tried to make me straight. You know what's funny? That's like ninety percent of their grievances is like, oh, you can't teach sex ed because oh, you're trying to teach gay sex to children, and it's like. Dumbass, there are gay kids. Like, it's about understanding your own sexuality. Um, Hassan, I need to go meet somebody for lunch real quick. What? Yeah, but I'm gonna come back. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. Um, I'm gonna come back. How long are you streaming till like eight? Probably not. Till Wait, how long are you gone for? No, I won't be gone that long. Are you long. staying here tonight? No. Where are you staying? At a hotel. No, 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 no. no. No, no, like, no, no, it's because... Is it Miskiff? Be honest. No, I'm not are you seeing Miskiff. He lives in Texas. Are you seeing Miskiff? No, I'm not. Okay, so... Are you going to leave to go FaceTime him from I don't a wanna, restaurant? I don't want to disclose too much, but basically, last time I stayed here before I had a morning flight, last time I stayed here before I had, before I had a morning flight, I drove, I, 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 whatever, I was, my flight was at 9.30. Oh, you were staying near the airport. Yeah. Uh, my flight was at 9.30, Chad, and I got to the airport at 8.00. 39 and i had to check bags which is a 45 minute cutoff the loop in lax was so f packed there, the, the, there's a loop in lax one terminal one two three four uh one two three tom bradley four five six seven okay and it's in a horseshoe i had to get dropped off at terminal seven because he couldn't get around and i had to sprint they don't believe you they're saying you're 100 p meeting up for the grind grinder no, day no no this is this is a platonic thing that i'm meeting up for right now what chat come on now sometimes gay people meet up for friendship he's getting a midday suck off no dude. i'm not getting a midday suck off all he's right trying to, he's trying to get a midday now tomorrow suck. on the other hand i'm gonna have a great evening can't believe you all right guys i'll be back i'll be back in a bit i see how it's going on i see what's going on here all right, get out of here, Austin. Okay. Oh, get out of so here. Much. My name is Natalie Winter. I'm, so, I'm sorry I, I did not dog recognize dog. you. Thanks, man. I don't my want daughter is being Pepper. taught consent. Consent. Like, uh, you know, sexual consent. Like, if I touch you and you say, oh, I don't consent to you touching me. Well, I would say consent is a, is a good thing in the sense of you shouldn't judge people if they don't want to be touched. Well, what's a good age to teach a child that? Yes. Well, I think what you bring up really goes back to this long march through the institutions that is really designed to, at the crux of it, destroy the nuclear family, right? And the way they do that is by pushing these very, very, I would say, just, it's not even woke and weaponized, truly, I think, honestly, satanic. I think we're in a spiritual war, and I think they, they push these just very... It's wild that she had me in the first half. I was like, oh, finally. I was like, oh, finally, like a conservative who's not utterly unhinged. How, like, how can someone be normal for that, like, three-second barrier only to become the most insane person you've ever encountered? I genuinely don't get it. She was like, yeah, you're right. I think consent is great, and it should be taught, which is 
uh, you know, why I think that the pedophilic elite are working with Satan, who is gay, by the way, and f that young rapper boy, Lil Nas X. That's right. That's a real thing that happened. I saw it on the television. She remember halfway that she was Republican? <laughs> anti-nuclear family, anti-Christian, anti-Western civilization values that if we just renege on those and we reject those, we're not going to have a country much longer. But that's precisely the point, obviously. Just look at what's going on at the southern border. These people don't believe in borders. It's so funny that these guys are always like, yeah, look at what's going on in the borders. These people don't believe in borders. We need a nuclear family. We need to we need to bring back Christianity. It's like, bitch, who do you think are the most Christian in this country? Every f abuelita is coming over the f border with a new saint you've never even heard of, dog. What the f do you mean? And half of them are f evangelicals now too. They're not even just Catholic. They even did the evangelical Christianity shit. It's not even just the saints that you don't know about now. No, now they're the same kind of f mental illness uh, uh, type religion you want to think that they should be somewhere around the age of consent before we start talking about it yeah i'm gonna I mean, assume it's a little younger than that or like 13 or something. yeah that's a little too early to be having even remotely sexual discussions my daughter they're teaching her about consent yeah <laughs> how old is she can i, I mean, that's a good question how old do you think she should be before she learned? yeah new saint and more bones than the saints you read about dude when i found out that the catholics literally preserve preserve the bones of like dudes throughout history that have gotten sainthood it blew my f mind that shit is so crazy that is so metal actually I I honestly i like i respect it i think it's cool as think about that did you guys know that maybe some people didn't know that i don't know because i look i grew up in a muslim country i didn't know that i didn't know nothing about this catholic nonsense okay it's pretty cool that's literally idolatry though it's hypocritical okay chill dude whatever dude idolatry well i idolize it okay idolatry that's idolatry okay stand bts you know what i mean learns about consent what age i would think a teenager at least yeah, i was gonna say it's 15, 15 16, 16. Yeah. yeah i think oh okay well it means she's 14 but like... that's still yep here it is i know exactly what photo this is i mean a uh, video this is the skull of saint thomas aquinas Aquinas? Priverno. Abrahamic religions do some form of it despite their books forbidding it. Yeah, even the prophet Muhammad. I remember, I think I saw his like beard or some shit. It's obviously not real, but it's still metal as hell. I would say the skull is cooler than the beard. Dude's collecting the Saint Course part like Skuna fingers from JJK. Um, nah, Islamic architecture and art literally develops from lack of idolatry. Yes. Bro, Islam is, is, uh, so uh, islam is overboard with that shit they don't even do like uh originally they don't even do uh drawings of people i think right but yeah they have uh i think i think like having an entire church full of skeletons is sick like way cooler than just like having the prophet's beard you know there's a church that claims to have the foreskin of jesus but it was stolen is this true dune is in science fiction it's contemporary prophecy the plot of dune is just what will happen after trump is assassinated and baron is forced to flee and join hamas that's awesome I believe it. The Arabic language itself is a calligraphic art form specifically because illustrating people and other art was not a thing from what I understand from my Saudi brother-in-law. No, it was a thing, but it was banned under uh, Islam originally because Islamic idolatry taboo only came in the 14th century onwards. There are depictions of Muhammad. I don't, uh, I don't think so. I thought it was like early Islam idolatry was genuinely frowned upon and was banned because at least this is how they taught me in school, by the way, I could be totally off base on this are you ready for this this is some straight i'm straight piping it okay this is not like theology in college this is straight up religion class from turkish uh education there's no idolatry in islam because the prior barbarian like tribes that were all pagan in origin believed in a whole different bunch of like uh weird statues and things of that nature and because it was like really bad, uh, because they always fought one another uh, under uh, this polytheistic uh, structure that Islam did away with that because the Prophet Muhammad showed the truth to the Muslims and it caused uh, it caused the entire uh, region in that area as Islam like spread like wildfire. It, it basically brought everyone under the same socially cohesive umbrella. This is the reason why. It's not even just depictions of Muhammad. It's just like literally no form of art that shows humans are supposed to exist from that er uh, from that era. 
it used to and then islam did away with it not even just like the prophet muhammad no depictions of humans in uh paintings i think it might have literally been any living thing are you a practicing muslim no anyway what about sculpture nope no i'm serious i think it's like plants and shit plants and like fruit because i remember only like fruit art yes all my muslim friends only have art of text on their walls and is not indicative of whether they are more conservative or not yeah so calligraphy is really important in Islam. Uh, my mother uh, practiced it and learned it. Hot is what it's called. Hot tut. My mother was a hot tut. So Arabic calligraphy and even during the Ottoman Empire, uh, Empire calligraphy was very important. So like that's why those signatures are f nuts. Like if you ever have seen a signature of uh, of like an Ottoman uh, an Ottoman emperor, a padishah, like there is a whole like there's just a so there's so much complexity to it. Anakinism is the avoidance of sentient beings in art under Islam. I I not only am bringing this up, but I'm telling you what their basis for this behavior was. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter because obviously, as time changes, people's attitude changes well uh, towards this sort of thing. And I do think it's like obviously ridiculous to f not draw human beings or whatever, and and restrict art in any capacity, and. I think many Muslims nowadays don't obviously don't give a shit and might not even know about the uh, the origins of such a restriction or the fact that it even existed or exists, I guess, to this day. So, yeah, listen, we got mosaics. Exactly. Here's a picture. Here's a picture of a signature of an Ottoman sultan. Yes, this is it. Tura, the insignia of Sultan Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. They did this with like gold too. Bro, imagine this is your signature, dog. This is your signature. Takes like eight years to finish it. <laughs> uh anyway. Alright, 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 alright. Where the f where are we? How do I get here? What's going on? Spun into a total crazy sidetrack talking about idolatry. And I don't even know how I got here from Hogwatch. I genuinely have forgotten. But the one thing I never forgot was the top of the hour ad break. That's right, baby. Now, of course, if you have forgotten at the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe <coughs> for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription. 1453, best day of my life. Respect for that username. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Young. Coming from? Puerto Rico. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. So you're... You're Puerto Rican? No, I was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay. Where you live in Puerto Rico? Uh, in Isla Verde. Okay. Fantastic. Which is a great beach. Um, you live on the beach. That's amazing. I live, yeah, I have an ocean outside me and I swim in it. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I say. What's it like in Puerto Rico now? Inflation is kicking our butts. The Biden inflation is kicking our butts and my husband and I are better off than most folks but I have to tell you the truth that some of my friends I'm helping them to eat now to eat to uh, buy groceries to eat yeah because all God's children need to eat all right that, I can I can understand that yeah so it is you know, everyone everyone should get food Everyone should get Everyone married. should have access to food, housing, yes. health care. All that. Nah, don't give me that Obamacare. Uh-uh. No, no, no. All right. Yeah. I'm Hell on yeah. I'm gonna... Yeah. I love that. God, oh, she's so stupid. So goddamn stupid. Oh, crusty old broad. You say Medicare, but I mean, yeah, because you're, you're right. You don't want the government taking over Medicare. Oh. Can you imagine if the government, like, just took over Medicare? It needs no. to stay within the free market. And and I, we have a good plan, a supplement plan as well. I'm, like, insured up the wazoo. My husband's a specialist in insurance, and he made sure. I've now applied that to the January 6ers because they obstructed an official proceeding at Congress. So it's quite a stretch. Um, over 300 January 6ers were charged with that, including... President Trump was charged with 1512C2. Once that happens, I think that's going to crumble a lot of the cases, and some of the people that have had that as their most serious charge will now only have trespassing, remaining in an unrestricted building, and those types yeah, of things. And then, then all of those people will now uh, hopefully be free to walk the streets. That would be the, the hope, and uh, it, it, it really comes down oh. to our Department of Justice, you know, really starting to 
be the Department of Justice for all. But I thought we wanted to get rid of the Department of Justice. Well, I think that we need a lot of work in a lot of those organizations. So, so you're a reformer. Yeah. You're a reformer. Just for the January Sixers, make no mistake. If they're black, I think they should go to prison for longer. This makes the most sense, though. I mean, we've often talked about conservatism being like an incredibly selfish way to operate. Uh, do you think people will believe you if you did this? I have done this before. I can't do it anymore. I do unfortunately think I'm too hated by the right and someone would immediately clock me and tell other people that, who I am and the gig would be up. I have done it, though, in the past. I think the sickest way to do this, and I have imagined this, the sickest way to do this is like having someone and being in their ear, following them around with a camera and me being in like a studio, basically sitting in my regular, sitting in my like regular ass uh, setup. Yeah, here, this is it. This is from the like full blown stream, but there's also my YouTube video here. But yeah, here's Will and I, oh my God, Will had the blonde hair. Yeah, so my Dude, look at this. Look at this. We were. Vote for Biden is a vote saying, yeah, we want all these laws to hurt children. No, I didn't think, so, why do you think that. Wait, hold because, on. I have one more question. Sorry. sorry. No, um, so I've, I've done some research on this as well, and I've heard that the, the Trump administration has also uh, under ICE, under the Immigration and Customs Enforcement, their, Im okay. their immigrant okay. removal operations have separated kids from the border with their families. Do you do you know why they're doing that? A child in the U.S. They're trying to get them to go back to their own countries. If they want to come in, there's a process. You need to go through Ellis Island. You need to learn English. You need to learn... You're too obvious, need an agent? No, I was cooking them, dude. Are you kidding me? And you, and you, right? and you disincentivize people to... Like, the, the OG, this was the first time, at least to my knowledge, the whole, like, this is where I brought to the table the whole, this is where I brought to the table the whole, like, comparison between, the comparison between, like, child beauty pageants. I literally, this is where, this is when I did the whole child beauty pageants comparison. The guy who organized this, like, supposedly, quote-unquote, anti-pedophilia rally, straight up. Straight up. What is that? This is, um, is that Shungai? Um, I love Shungai, but this is Iron Pyrite. Oh, what is that, dude? Does that block out the 5G waves? I got Shungai all over my uh, yeah. La Casa, my yeah. home. This is such an old meme. Many people don't even know what this meme is, probably. You know? Me too. I have it on my phone. It does block out uh, 5G waves. You have it on your phone? Can I see? Uh, yeah. I have it all around the La Casa, you know. Tiny pyramids. People always mistake it. Whenever I talk about Shungite, they're always like, Shug Knight. And I'm like, no, that guy's locked up in prison. You yeah. know? These are my, my Shug Knight. Wow, and it says self-love on it. What is that? You were painfully unfaithful. Wait, what? Bro, I wasn't even watching you until early 2021. Holy moly, and I know it. Okay, Little Bear, you literally are the lore master are you out of your mind? You can't compare your level of knowledge to both Twitch memes and memes in this community to like normal newer viewers. That's insane. Being the Department of Justice, we're reforming the FBI. We're not getting think, rid of them. Yeah, Little Bear's my mentat, straight up. Like, Entirely. I think reform is is the first place. I mean, it comes from awareness. And one of the things that happened that, that we give credit to the January Sixers is we got an inside view of what the Department of Corrections is like and how people, you and I, if we fell into the Department of Corrections for any, any wrongdoing. You know, it's funny. You talk about the criminal justice system and <laughs> I, I feel kind of sh <laughs> Why is this on so good at rizzing up conservative women shaking my head? I'm just good at rizzing up women because I, <laughs> that's it. It doesn't matter if they're conservative. They're pu That's why I always say it's ridiculous when people are like, uh, you're just a feminist for pussy. It's like, I don't need to be, I do not need to be a mother feminist to get pussy dog. Okay. Don't delude yourself. Sheepish talking about it because I've spent so many years making fun of all of these leftists. Call the face card. These Black Lives Matter people, whenever they talk. That's what the kids are calling it, the face card. And this shit's not declining, okay? This ain't Amex, baby. This ain't Amex. This is working at every door. I had a mask on. Yeah, my face card in that situation is being six foot four, okay? That's what, that's what the face card was. It's called being six foot four and towering over everybody talk about the criminal justice system and now that i want to talk about it I'm, i feel a little bit like ah i'm kind of embarrassed really after being like you know oh back the blue there's like this sort of embarrassment right but the good you grew side your of facial that hair is back that and started acting different shaking my head yeah i know i'm sorry
that they've been fighting this fight for a long, long time, and it shows that people on both sides of the aisle can come together. Yeah, that's a great thing. What would that be? What would that look like for both sides of the aisle? Black Lives Matter, Antifa, you know, protesters saying, hey, the criminal justice system is corrupt. Yeah. Uh, dude, do your f research. When I got off Tinder, Los Angeles wept, okay? Do your f research. There's two things I'm good at, getting pussy and talking, or what is it? I'm f***ing it up. God damn it. God damn it. What is the f full? Someone has to have the copy pasta. Come on. God damn. Nobody, nobody has the. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Getting, it's not even getting pussy. Non-monogamy. I am actually disappointed in this community that only one person was able to f come up with it and they got banned immediately. Wait, is this guy seriously saying that I can't get laid? Incredible. <laughs> I will give you $5,000 if you can get some poontang before January 1st. Do you have any idea who the f*** you're talking to? When I got off Tinder because of the f quarantine, West Hollywood wept. Even ignoring the fact that I have a girlfriend, even if we're just talking like randos, I'm two hours away right now from being inside someone else. I have two skills. It's non-monogamy and speaking publicly, okay? Do some f research. It is, it is far better. It's one of those things where you cannot paraphrase it to make it better. It is far better in the original latin okay yeah that's why we gotta play it i gotta do it to him is this guy seriously saying that i can't get laid incredible i'll give you five thousand if you can get poontang before january 1st do you have any idea who the f you're talking to when i got off tin when i got off tinder because of the f quarantine tacoma wept even like ignoring the fact that i have a girlfriend even if we're just talking like randos i'm two hours away right now from being inside somebody else this is one i, I have two skills and it's non-monogamy and speaking publicly okay <laughs> do some research do some research what is the kind of research you would do to to come to this conclusion like well i guess people did do research which wasn't even research he just like kind of revealed it <laughs> with his folder but <laughs> Oh God, I love, I love that so much. I, that, that is, that is perfect. That's like a perfect clip. And I don't even mean this in a way where like I'm shitting on Vaush, Vaush at all. It's just such a good, perfect, beautiful moment trapped in time. It has everything. It's got, it's got the perfect debate cadence. You know what I mean? It's got the perfect debate cadence. Cause like, this is how every debate lord is, where they're like, uh, excuse me, where's your empirical evidence to suggest that I don't get pussy? I'm f people all the time. Like, the, the confidence, the confidence of a skilled orator that has bested their interlocutors in the marketplace of ideas time and time again. So good. Corrupt. It can't be reformed. This needs to be, you know, rebuilt from the ground up. And then someone, someone like yourself, who's on, you know, the right, you know, who is MAGA, America first? What would that look like? Well, for instance, Trump's First Step Act was a, was a great step in the right direction to reduce um, sentences that were were over the top. So so that's... that's yeah, it's up there with chubby short stack built like a goblin. When you got one mode, when you got one mode, when you got one speed, you just use that same debate strategy every time. It doesn't matter. You could be... You could be talking to a... To, to like the cashier at in and out for up your order or you could be talking to your audience about why you have lolly porn in your porn folder or why you have a porn folder to begin with it's always the same cadence like let me tell you with all of my intellectual might let me give you an argument here one area that that it can happen we've got you'll have to forgive this presumed shared knowledge of goblin porn <laughs> Stop. It's so perfect. Okay, let's get back to the video. I can't stop. Oh, let's continue. Let's continue. Gotta recognize that the United States has the highest incarceration rate in the entire world. It's a hyper-carceral. In these liberal cities, they got rid of bail reform. I get confused sometimes trying to keep up. We like bail reform. We don't like bail reform. You know, so this, I feel a bit of a dissonance. Well, I think the most important thing is that what you're doing right here, citizen journalism, getting the information out there, getting the public to be aware, to, to recognize what's going on. That's the first step. We've got to see it. Once you see it, it can't be unseen. So you are, you are Amer there's America first and there's Maui first. Yeah, I'm Maui first. <laughs> what are some issues that, uh, that they care about, that the Hawaiian voters care about? Well, a lot of the Hawaiians still want... That's a native Hawaiian right there. 
Yeehaw. Want to become a free kingdom, so they want to go back to the original Hawaiian kingdom, and that's an another dynamic that plays into it because we're li real, really living in a different culture there. So I like to be respectful as as much as I can of their original culture oh. and the fact that they would prefer to be outside of the United States. Wait, what? So yeah. there's a um, that. All is she like actually? This is the most based conservative woman living in Hawaii of all time. She's like rocking a cowboy hat while saying like, you know, the Maui separatists got some good ideas. It's called decolonialization. <laughs> Dude, these are like Nick Mullen bits come to life at this point. Okay, that's right. I, I'm a based... <laughs> I'm a based Hawaiian separatist who believes in decolonialization. It's called land back. Okay. That's right. It's got, there's a hashtag on Twitter called land back. Also creates an issue because they don't like to vote based oh, wow. on that because they would prefer to have their own kingdom back. They want to get their land. They want their land back. Yeah. Well, their land's been stolen and it's still being stolen and Lahaina is not looking good for that at the moment yeah either. that is that is something bro what do you mean by who lady you oh my god she's like yeah they're getting their land stolen by whites coming in from the mainland not me of course <laughs> what the f with regards to you know the indigenous population and that's a whole th how do you how do you feel about that we don't really talk about that as america first it, I don't know how to talk about that. Well, that's why we have to put Hawaiians first. They deserve to be put first. I mean, it was their She's state, awesome. you know, it was their country. It was their kingdom before we took it over. So we are occupying their state or their kingdom. So they do deserve to be put first. They deserve rights and they do deserve the, to keep their land and maintain their land instead of, uh, you know, having just the Westerners. Or She's not bugging. No, I know she's right. It's just her explaining it is is the bugging part. She is a white blonde lady living in Hawaii talking about the, the Hawaiian kingdom and land back. It's who is saying it that is making it very strange given the context of it, of the person saying this being a CPAC attendee. Do you not understand? What is like shocking about this conversation? I wonder what her thoughts on Palestine are. Yeah, she's about to be like, <laughs> like, listen, I got that red triangle I put on my Twitter. <laughs> I love watching them ham ass videos. <laughs> That's right. It's called land back. <laughs> it's like legitimately shocking. So the government is taking it from them. Wow. That's a hot take. I hear for I wow i appreciate that Thank it's, you. i mean it's it's the harsh truth though i mean you this happened you know in the in the late 50s we could have we could have prevented this we already knew how bad this turns out when we took it from the native americans from all the uh, you know to be fair neil gorse is always down with imperialist america kkk uh, when he talks about native issues other states and put them on reservations we've already gone through this story and then they just repeated it again what is going on i'm, I'm caught thing, off so guard. right that was crazy Wait, oh God, I wish Walter would have asked her more about like other opinions that she has because this is incredible. He literally said America was built on indigenous genocide. What the f that I do want to know. It's like a chud unicorn. Yeah, it's awesome. Right now, Taylor Swift, she's not our favorite person. Who are we going to use to target Gen Z to compete with Taylor Swift? Well, you're going to have to find probably some high profile person in pop culture maybe someone like The Rock or Shaq. I don't think these guys are going to speak out, but I know that they're probably on the right side of the transom, both of those guys. Shaq is the most iconic guy on the planet right now. If there was some way that Shaq would come... Bro, this dude is stuck in like 2008. I swear to God. What the f***? What do you mean Shaq is the most iconic guy on the planet right now? Not even 2008, like 1999. Bro says Shaq is really going to f***. Busted wide open for us for the Gen Z vote. Bro fighting Zoomer B-Ball on TikTok? Yeah. It's like, that's right. Shaq is from one of the greatest eras of basketball. <laughs> and MJ. Every time they talk about how plumbers are playing basketball against MJ, I get so mad. These young guns don't know how, how hard the old heads had it. Back then, you could hold people on defense. That's right. I watch Kazam on my VHS cassette tapes every time, which is what the Gen Z also needs, VHS. Come out and endorse Trump. He has, in a very soft way, done that. He said, listen, I don't always agree with how he words things, but his 
his heart and it's so funny like by the way Shaq uh I think his dad was a cop Shaq is an honorary cop uh so he's not wrong about Shaq specifically but he is wrong when he thinks that Shaquille O'Neal is going to win the Gen Z vote and on issues he's in the right place that's as close to an endorsement from Shaq oh it turns out Fine. Apparently Shaq worked with Fannie Willis and, and his heart and, and on issues he's in the right place. That's as close and to Michelle an endorsement Obama. from Shaquille O'Neal as you can get. Been in the contemporary Christian genre. I have six albums. We did a patriotic I wouldn't be surprised though. Uh being a his dad was a military cop, I think. His dad was a military uh, police. He grew up on he grew up on uh, uh military bases and stuff. He's like he's got like um he definitely has some like right wing tendencies album and then we veered and did a uh, trump one that went number one last year and the president number one where i i kicked taylor swift out of number one on itunes the amount of people that bought your music eclipsed Correct. taylor swift and then, and then um billboard is the world um calculation for buying that's so awesome it, like in her mind she legitimately believes in her heart of hearts bless her heart by the way that she thinks she's like more famous than Taylor Swift. And I think that's cool. Like let people enjoy things. Okay. Let people enjoy things. Don't, don't, don't ruin the vibes for this person who thinks that she is more famous than Taylor Swift. Okay. And it's actually big woke media. It's a whole conspiracy to, to suppress how actually famous she is. Music and it, it hit the pop and country charts for a month as number two. It went yeah. platinum. We gave an award to President Trump back in November. And That's funny because it's um a lot of a lot of uh, conservative artists have been hitting that specific category. Yes, right? I was and one it, of the ones that started can't. that off last year. So Taylor Swift, she's either a Democratic psyop or a you know, you know, member of the CCP, <laughs> right, right? right? And she's being used to target, you know, Gen Z voters. Uh, who do we have on our side that's going to target the Gen Z vote? I mean, when it's when it comes to politicians, Vivek Ramaswamy has done a very good job. When we're mm. talking about political, or oh my lord! See, I told you, I told you, Vivek appeals to this guy, okay? And this guy alone, yeah, he's done a he's done such a good job. That's why he had to drop out after like never securing more than five percent of the vote, or or rather, cultural figures. I would say people like the Nelk boys, you know, these kind of these kind of guys that are tired of being rallied against and in the cultural space, it really is only them. Yeah, dude, the Nelk boys are are really leading the pack, dude. Oh my god. I I do wish for a time when conservatives weren't so invested in like degeneracy. Like I I do. I wish for a time, maybe it's cuz I'm old now. But I do wish that, like, we could go back to the days where conservatives would be like, no, you can't have a face tattoo. Like, are you a criminal? Do you believe in Satan? Because now it's the same people with the face tattoos that are like, yeah, do you believe in Satan and the pedophilic conspiracy? I love voting for tort reform. And it's like, what are you saying? This does not make sense aesthetically. Stop. Like, you're talking about a group of dildos that throw like frat parties and shit they're canadian it's the worst thing you can be what is going on them but we need more we need more people like uh for example harrison butker i'm from kansas so harrison butker he is a noted catholic and he said that the key to his success in life has been god family people like that we need athletes like that eddie garcia currently running for the u.s senate in virginia he is very pro-school choice. Um, and in fact, he wants to pass legislation so that parents or households um, basically get the same amount of money and tax credits that they would get with their student going to a public school. If you're paying twenty to $30,000 a year for private school, Absolutely. you get uh, you know, a yes. voucher for that. And yes. they, they, pay, they pay part of that freight. Absolutely. Per head, like, say there's a guy. This is basically the Maui Nationalist lady. I think she has some hope maintaining conservative project. All the Trump judges have their own little issues when they're weirdly moderate, like Pokemon typings. Third world is Gersich is literally my favorite of those. You know, he plays Assassin's Creed 3 all the time. He's the one I think is the most sincere out of all of them for that reason. 
I never ever doubt assuming political motivations for all of them, but when he's out there voting for half of Oklahoma to be put under Cherokee law, it gives me some pause. He's genuinely baffling in the face of his other positions, but he goes so far with it so consistently that I think it's totally genuine. Gorsuch normally, it's completely within an employer's rights to castrate any employee. Gorsuch on reservation law. I am issuing this ruling from Piscataway land. <laughs> it's so, watch the patron on repeat. It's, it is odd. It, it is odd when like you got a pet issue with a conservative that goes totally against their worldview. Okay. Like completely. Right wing Gen Z is so funny. Whenever you ask them their favorite politician, it is always someone named Dixon Suck and Swallow. Well, have you, have, have you considered that Dixon Suck and Swallow is a Catholic and he's a based, based Catholic? traditionalist he's a union man <laughs> dixon suck and swallow he's a union man police union no no uh, you know a thousand students then the government you know designates fifteen thousand dollars per student and instead of it going to the local public school it goes towards a charter school you know which is private and enterprise school yes and or homeschool a parochial school yeah. and a lot know. of it's a very you know it's an uphill battle harrison butler is the kicker for the chiefs well, there you go. Base Tradcath kicker for the Chiefs. Some ways because you, I'm trying to talk to parents and because they think when they think school choice, they think someone from a lower income area can come to my area and send their kids to school. But that's, that's not how not it works. What we're no. talking about no. at all. No, no it has nothing to do with that. They will stay in their area. They can fix their. Okay. But think about it. School choice and you get a of voucher course, to go course. wherever you want. Right. And it's okay, so the, the broadness of its appeal is sometimes works against it. Yes. In, you know what I mean? Because especially in an area where you're paying 20,000 a year in property taxes. It would also benefit the kids that do stay in public schools because they would have smaller classrooms. Yes, much smaller. Yeah. 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 And yeah. So, yeah. But it's like, but those stay. people will stay in their district yes. you will have your district it's not yeah, because it's not, it, it yeah. i don't want it i thought conservatives like school choice no they do but he's basically trying to describe to her why she would be against school choice to sound like a liberal policy anytime the word choice is mentioned it's mostly conservative other than the female issue right <laughs> it's literally the exact opposite okay other than that, um, we like choice. For example, national right to work, right? That's a choice. Right? Yeah. That's incredible. Oh, this is why conservatives are so good at framing their f restrictive opinions uh, and their restrictive legislative agenda in a way that is, is perfectly liberal and for freedom. Like, guys, you don't understand. I called my uh, let's give employers the right to kill their workers bill it, the employer's right to choose to be killed bill and all of a sudden it's great not having to join a union automatically yeah. like yeah it's a it's a choice not to have to join a union it's that's what we're doing you know this be subjected to paying their dues so yeah. um but yeah when there's choice actually because we want less government not more yeah. we want the individual to make decisions for themselves Cold. Although, you know, uh, pretty, pretty good numbers coming out of uh, Bobby Kennedy Jr. Uh, this guy sounds so much like Michael Pillow. Certainly within the Democrat Party. Are you talking about RFK Jr.? Yeah, RFK right Jr. I've been to his things and I don't, most of the people I see there are not people that vote Democrat. I originally liked him because I thought, oh, well, he's going to sort of split the vote for the Democratic Party. But he's not really splitting, uh, take peeling off people there. Most of the people there don't. You know, they, they align with us. You know, they don't believe in climate change. Do you think uh, uh, if if we get to the general election and we get uh, RFK Jr., that it would potentially severely hurt Trump? The people, though, that go to those things, they didn't take the vaccine, they did this, so, and it's generally skews conservative. A lot of people that just, in the end of the day, would just vote for Trump, I think. So I don't well, I think the more candidates you have, like Marianne Williamson, RFK Jr., and some of these other... Marianne Williamson would peel off both. Yeah, I, I think the more candidates you have in, the better it is for Trump. I think that's just simply going to be the case. One petition that elaborates on his bill... He's wrong, by the way. Like, RFK literally takes more votes away from Trump than he does from the Democratic Party. Because the reality is the, the, the most important issue for RFK voters, no matter which side you're on, is anti-vaxxer.
his positions are identical to Joe Biden. But because he presents himself as like an anti-vaxxer first and foremost, there are significantly more anti-vaxxers on the right wing side that would rather vote for him, especially because they think he's like polite and a, a handsome man and also simultaneously like doesn't have the Trump hang ups like being, uh, you know, brash and a loud mouth and. A lot of conservatives also will like sometimes they don't have the same gripes that uh, Kennedy and the Catholicism gripes that like conservatives at that time frame had when back when JFK was around. And lists a whole series of reasons why we need to defund the United Nations. Okay, just okay. So just go. Let's go over the re reasons. Sort of ignoring highlights. mass rapes of Israeli women. Yeah. So let's start uh, hiding the problem of wait the problem of female abusers. What's that? Correct. So. We know from hundreds of studies, women are just as likely to be abusers, domestic abusers, as men are. What's the name of your organization? So it's the Coalition to End Domestic Violence, and uh, we men. have we are focused both in the United States and internationally. Oh, okay. So you want to end domestic violence? That's that's where we started okay. on this. Okay, that's this where journey. you started. Yes. You want to end domestic violence? You want the inclusion of female abusers how many of the abusers are you know the female the woman in the relationship it's, it's i think this is like the final this is the final version of being a divorced dad i think like when you hit peak like peak divorce you you reach this conclusion where you're like actually my goal is to end domestic abuse only when women are doing it to men <laughs> when men are doing it to women it's it's still somehow domestic abuse towards the man, actually. Basically 50-50. Uh, you may have heard just last week in Pennsylvania, there was a female judge who took out her gun and shot her ex-boyfriend in the head. Some studies have shown it's actually women have the edge in terms of numbers of instigating domestic violence. According to the Centers for Disease Control, women are more likely to be the perpetrators of psychological do control. we trust the cdc though i think in this area i i i understand your concern and point this is actually a well-developed there you go by the way i called it and he revealed it he's saying that in all domestic abuse instances is the woman that is egging it on like even if the man is the domestic abuser women are responsible for it that's literally what he's saying, and that's what his cause is. Study that's that's recognized as being uh, scientifically valid. We're trying to influence the policies and what policies would you like to see? So, for example, let's start at the with the, the federal law. It's called the Violence Against Women Act. Obviously, that's a pretty biased law. This is like a men's rights organization. I would say it's not men's rights because if you care. Yep, he's right. Fuck, I hate it. Though, yep, why is that question marking? He's correct. Women are more likely to be instigators. Uh, women who are have abusive tendencies. Nobody is saying that women are not responsible for domestic abuse. Okay? Of course women can do domestic abuse. The fuck is this dumbass question? In many instances, obviously, toxic masculinity plays a role in men shutting down in the way that they are received as victims of domestic violence. Uh, so it makes them less likely to go and talk about it. It makes them less likely to actually uh, do something about it. But the idea, the, what this guy is saying is that women are baiting the domestic abuse that they receive. They're instigating it, which is insane. What do you want them to see help, get help? get counseling before the the abuse flares up and turns into a, a judge shooting her ex-boyfriend in the head it's not a men's rights organization not a men's rights organization it's not a men's you're not a, you're not a, what they call like a mra a, you're not a men's rights activist yeah no we're not mra not totally that's that's uh, not what this is at all yeah and i'll give you an example about an hour ago a, a gentleman came to this booth right here and he said that he had been repeatedly slapped by his mother Oh and then he said, but oh, that didn't really count. 
that tells the whole story right there. He was physically abused by his mother, but it didn't count because he was a male. I always say that the, the left thinks there's a lot of amendments written in invisible ink that we can't see. Like what? Which one? That you have the right to an abortion, that there's a, that there's a concrete separation of church and state. All of those things are things that they make up. It's another thing, church and state. Where in the, cons where in the amendments in the Constitution? It's like, not. It doesn't it's exist. not, yeah, no. there's establishment yeah. clause. Right. But, but beyond, the, beyond but that. But beyond the establishment clause, there's, there's nothing. nothing. No, it does not say that the church cannot vote, cannot have a voice, that religion can't have influence. Those are your citizens. But separation in church and state is a letter Jefferson wrote to a church and said, don't worry, the government is not going to oppress you or interfere and with you. It was a, it was an assurance to the church they would be free. And it's contradicted in nearly every other piece of documentation. Yes. We have under God in our, in our money, and it doesn't necessarily have to mean a specific... Well, that, was, that, was, that was from... Um McCarthy Later. and that's oh, not under God. I meant uh, so is he pluribus God. unum yeah, was yeah, like yeah. under from many one right. and then it was that was yeah. McCarthy changed it. God yeah. yeah. But McCarthy's not a I don't I mean he's not a great uh, yeah, person for our weirdest sport cheating scandals. Fucking hell. Uh that was Walt Masterson uh doing it again, oh, doing the damn thing again, doing a great job. Love his videos. Pump his shit up. 